Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to Handcross Park's Middle School Sports Day. Uh, I'm Mr Carter and it's really nice this year to be able to welcome back so many parents who are slowly filtering in and making their way to their seats. Next to me in the commentary booth this afternoon, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Myers Allen. Welcome, Mr. Myers Allen. It is an absolute honor and a privilege to be working with a seasoned professional like yourself, sir. Many sports days under your belt, commentating, the live stream. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, I still haven't got that contract offer from BBC or Sky Sports, but we're working on it. Um, a very enjoyable afternoon ahead of us. We're going to start off, uh, well, we should talk about what's already happened, actually. So the flag bearers have paraded their houses to their house pens, as you can see on the screen there. Um, and the pupils leading, uh, leading the houses with the flags were chosen for their effort, dedication and sportsmanship. So for the Britons, we had Zach Ford leading them out. And uh, for the Normans, we have Aliha McKeem. Uh, Saxons were led out by Naomi Hamilton. And for the Vikings, we had Farron Elmelaz. So just a few uh, notes to help us uh, we'll navigate our way through the afternoon. Uh, all year five and six children will participate in the 100 metres, 200 metres, the house relay and two field events of their choice. The children have all completed 300 metres and 800 metre time trials in their PE lessons. And the top eight boys and girls in each year group have qualified for the event final. Now, uh, the children competing in Division 1 for each event, including the field, will accumulate points towards the victor and victrix luderum final standings. Uh, all points scored in each event go towards the house totals, and these will be revealed during the presentations at the end of Sports Day. The overall Sports Day Cup will be presented at the final prize giving of the term after all sports days are completed. So all sports days count, lower school, middle school, and upper school. And we will be talking you through, obviously, each event as it comes. So we are going to start off shortly where the year fives will start off with their track events, starting with the 800 meters final. Uh, and then the year sixes will be doing their field events while that, whilst that's happening. And then about halfway through the afternoon, so we're looking at a schedule of about quarter to three, hopefully if things run on time, they will switch around. The year sixes will come to the track and the year fives will commence their field events as well. Very, very exciting. First bit of waffle out the way, sir. How do you think that went? I think pretty good, actually. So I've, I've, I've got a question, Mr. Myers Allen. I'd like you to cast your mind back to when you, a young Mr. Myers Allen, was in year five and year six, and it was your sports day. What would, what was your kind of your strength? What was your, your, you know, your event? My event. Um, I was, I was quite a long distance runner. I remember. I have a very vivid memory of a, uh, of sports hall, uh, of sports day uh, in Brandeston Hall, where I was running the 1500 meters. Uh, I was I was middling the field, not 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 coming near the top, but uh, I, I knew the end was where all the parents were, so I really wanted to try really hard for the end, and uh, I sprinted really hard, and, and my face really showed it. And I, I went over to my best friend after that, and he told me I had a face that looked like Mr. Bean. Um, so that really put me off trying hard at the end of 1500 meters. After that, <laughs> a Mr. Beany try hard face. Ah, uh, no, sounds sounds good though. Good memories. Thank you. But they weren't all bad memories. I enjoyed sports days. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. I liked high jump. And then uh, I stopped growing. And the, the bar got higher and I got shorter somehow. How about you, Sal? I'm throwing that question back round to you. Sports day memories. Well, well, you know, I'll start off by saying I was probably a similar, actually, long distance runner. And also I didn't do too badly in the sprinting, which makes me sound like I was quite good at sport. But then I put it into context and say it tell you that there was only 12 pupils in my year group at primary school. And so to be quite good at something out of 12, you know, uh, yeah, six boys, six girls. That was it. That was my primary experience. So and I had a, a bit a bit of rivalry with uh, one of my best friends who was always quite neck and neck during those races. Um, and we were, we were still in contact until a couple of years ago when he deleted me on Facebook. So um, I don't want to name any names, Oliver. Shout out to Oliver there from Mr. Carter, not holding any grudges. Talking of shout outs, uh, as ever, you, you will know that Handcross Park, we like to be innovative. We like to move with the times. And so we've decided to bring a bit of an interactive feature with us this time. So we do actually have a phone with us. It's one of the school trip phones. And we are encouraging those of you who can't be with us in person, but are perhaps watching at home, any relatives, uh, cousins, 
grandparents, friends, whatever it might be. If you are watching at home and you would like to send in a message of support to someone who is competing in this sports day, then please do send us a text. Uh, I'll read out the number shortly. Please make sure it's a text. It's quite an old phone. I'm not sure it has WhatsApp, so make sure it is a text. Uh, and the number that you can contact us on is 07563 623 960. That's 07563 623 960. Now, we obviously can't guarantee we'll read out every message because I imagine we're going to be inundated, but we will try our very best. So, again, 07563 623 960 if you would like to send in messages of support. And we have pupil movement. We have pupil movement. It looks like on the benches in front of us here, we've got the year five boys and the year five girls who will be taking part in the 800 meter finals. Now, to repeat myself a little bit, they have done their time trials in their PE lessons. So we're looking at the best of the best down here. Mr. Myers-Allen, I'm breaking news. We have actually got our first message in already, and you're going to like this one because Mr. Myers-Allen, for those of you who, doesn't, who don't know, uh, Mr. Myers-Allen is head of the Saxon. So obviously we're going to remain Ooh. impartial on commentary, but the first message is uh, from Alex Long, and it says, Go Saxons. A, a lovely message. Uh, great to, to hear from a Saxon so early on in this broadcast. Uh, yes, as Mr. Carter said, we're, we are, well, myself, head of Saxons and Mr. Carter, you are head of the house as well, aren't you? I am, I'm head of Normand. I, I would just like to point out that um, Alex Long isn't actually in school with his phone. Unfortunately, he's, he's absent today, so he's obviously watching at home. So hi, Alex, hope you're feeling okay. Um, and we look forward to seeing you soon. But thank you for your message. Go Saxons, says Alex Long. Thank you very much, Alex Long. While we six of the field events, we've got the long jumps behind you. We've got high jump in the middle. You are and as well as the dream team, that is Mr. Carter and myself, Mr. Myers. Can I, is that weird to say that we're a dream team? I've called ourselves dream team. Is that? I don't know what you dream about. <laughs> we also have next to me here, um, Harry Ward, who will be our, our man on the field. He's going to be running around, uh, finding out bits of information. He, he's quite a keen high jumper, so he's going to be going up and finding out the heights of the high jump, the distances in the long jump, and uh, just some general bits of information from members of staff and other pupils around the school. So thank you, Harry, for all your assistance today. Another message has come in, this one from Alexia Svakianakis, and this one says, Go Norman. So thank you for the message, Alexia. Ooh. Again, Alexia, unfortunately, is injured, so she is watching at home. Thank you for your support, Alexia. Fingers crossed, Normans can do the business for you. So on the tally chart there, one message in for the Saxons, one message in for the Normans. Are there any Britons out there? Are there any Vikings? We would like to hear from you. So the pupils there looking a little bit apprehensive, getting, in, getting a last minute pep talk from Miss Robinson, Mr. Evans. Uh, there they are, just getting into order, getting into their lane positions. The high jumpers there on your screen, just pacing out and getting their cones into position. That's, that's, some, that's some fancy placing there by Olivia Smith there. Just, you know, a bit of a, a shuffle with the foot. There we go, really precise. And we can also see Ibrahim in the background there. Harry Ward is not the only Year 7 helping us out today. I'm going to interrupt my waffle with a, a bit of waffle about the 800 metres, which looks like it's being set up right now on this curvy line in front of us. So we're going to go through now the, uh, the lane positioning and uh, who's competing in which lane. So. In lane one, we've got Cecilia Sheldon representing the Vikings. Lane two, we've got Beatrice Hogarth in the Normans house. Uh, lane three is Toyosi Akinola representing the Saxons. Alexa Ford is for the Britons in lane four. Uh, in lane five, it's Etty Whale representing the Normans. Lane six, Alexia 
not Alexia Savakianakis. We're going to jump to the next one, which would be Amelia Bjorn for the Vikings. Unfortunately, Alexia not here today. And then lane eight is Claudia, who was representing the Britons. Now, the record, the school record for this event was set in 2012. So it's obviously... 2012? You're a maths teacher, but I believe that's a decade, 10 years. And they are off. The girls are off, and that record, sorry, was three minutes and seven seconds. So let's see if any of these girls can break that record. As we see them just go around the bottom end of the track, around the tree and the back of the house tents. And I believe we see a Briton stretching out for an early lead there, followed by a Saxon. It's a real test of endurance, this event, as you see them go down that far straight. Now, question for you, Mr. Carter. We see someone there in their tracksuit bottoms. Is that going to cause drag compared to the people that are out there in their sports skirts? It's a good question. It depends on how well zipped up at the sides those tracksuit bottoms are. If they're not very well zipped up and they're flapping behind, I'd imagine, I'm not a science teacher, but I imagine there's a fair bit of drag. Um, but if they're zipped up properly, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Looks to me like Amelia you can probably hear the dulcet tones of Miss Pets on the microphone, who's doing the live commentary here at Sports Day, where we are welcoming a packed out sellout crowd of parents, eagerly cheering on their children and their friends. So coming down the home straight now for the first lap. In the lead is Lexi Ford for the Britons, uh, followed closely behind by Toyosi for the Saxons. That's quite the pace by Lexi as she gets a round of applause as she completes her first lap. And a little bit of a distance for Lexi there. Let's see if Toyosi can close that gap. She's still got 400 metres to do it. And then crossing the line there, we had a Viking followed by a Norman, a Norman, and then a Briton. So we've got. A, sorry, Mr. Wise, I'll cut you off then. Go for it, sir. It looks like you're going to going to read out a, a text message. We have. We've had, had another message in support of this race. It says, "Go, Beatrice and Etty," and that's from Alexia. So cheering on a couple of her friends there, which is always good to see. And another message here saying, "Go, Britain!" So our first shout out. For the Britons, go Britons and best of luck, Lexi Ford on the 800 meters. Uh, sorry, sorry, mummy's not there, but she's cheering you on from home, which is lovely. So thank you very much, Mrs. Ford. So that's a shout out for Normans. That's a shout out for Saxons and a shout out for Britons. Let's get a Viking shout out, please. Yeah, just to remind you, there are no points awarded for shout outs. So don't worry, Vikings, if you are watching, but it would be nice to hear from uh, some Viking fans. Alexi, that is that is some pace I'm looking at on the screen there. She's rounding the top bend here. And it looks like she's got energy to spare. A little look over the left shoulder there. And really stretching her legs here. No contest. She's got first place. Let's look for the race for second. And this is going to be quick. I'm interested to see the time on this because this could potentially, we might have to send our runner shortly to see if this is a record. But Lexi Ford finishes in first. Well done, Lexi, for the Britons. Toyosi now pushing hard down the final straight. She looks like she's going to be bringing up second place for the Saxons. She's finishing very strongly, pumping those arms, driving those legs. Well done, Toyosi. A bit of a battle for third place here. There's still a bit of a gap building now. Here we go. And crossing the line there, we've got Amelia Bjorn, followed by Etty Whale there. B. Hogarth for the Normans, now pushing herself over the finish line, which is great. And Claudia finishing strongly as well. A very good effort from all girls, actually, there, as they, as they work their way around the track to complete the 800 metres. And now we are running on to the boys' 800 metres. We can see in uh, lane one, we've got a Harry Hatcher for the Britons. Uh, in lane two, we've got Luke Graves for the Vikings. Lane three, Tommy Hodgson for Normans. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, lane four was due to be Alex, but obviously you're watching at home, Alex. Lane five, we've got Will Clary for the Vikings. Alexander Eldeeb for the Saxons in lane six. Uh, lane seven is Bobby Zoo for the Saxons. And we have Joshua Butler King in lane eight for the Vikings. A very sporting message here, which is a message from Alex Long saying, well done, girls. So he's obviously uh, appreciating their athletic ability as they've gone there. And here we see the shot put on the screen here. So that'd be year six shot put. There we go. That's B. Isles, I believe. A little bit of a high five there. Some 
some some team spirit between houses, Saxons and Britons, just getting along for the love of the sport. It's one of the nice things about Sports Day, joking aside, and said the sportsmanship, the uh, the cheering on of each other, everyone's generally happy, smiles on their faces, the encouragement. It does all tend to come out in Sports Day, which is lovely. We see, is that Naomi Hamilton with the shot put? Oh, gasps from the crowd there. I think as someone was going over the high jump. Now the boys are in their starting positions, ready to start the 100 meters, and they are off. And Immediately here. able to break their lanes and go into that central lane, jostling for position as they go around that first tree. On the year five 800 meter girls, the hand cross park record has been broken. I'm, I'm not sure if you have managed to pick that up on the microphones at home, but we spoke previously about there being a 10-year-old record for the 800 meters girls final, and we've just had it confirmed that Lexi Ford has broken that record for the girls 800 meters. So that's a record that stood for 10 years, and Lexi Ford for the Britons has just broken that record. So massive congratulations, Lexi. That's brilliant. It's going to be faster than three minutes, seven seconds, which is a brilliant effort. I take longer to make a cup of tea. So the boys coming around the top end of the track now as we see them on that curve to complete their first lap. Let me see. Uh, so it looks at the moment like it's a Saxon 1-2. So we've got Alex LD up front, Bobby very close behind. Uh, Tommy Hodgson at the moment in third place, followed by Wilf Perry. Then we've got Harry Hatcher, uh, Luke Graves and Joshua Butler King. As they come to complete their first lap, the parents, you can probably hear on the microphone, cheering them around. But Saxon's at the moment in the lead and in second place. A quick glance over his shoulder from Wilf Clary as he passes the finish line. But this is very tight, so the boys will be interested to see if they open up on this second lap. Bobby staying very close to the shoulder of Alex Eldeeb there. Is there a plan to break away? Oh, that was a fantastic high jump attempt there by Farron as we switch across to the long jump and Lauren Bushell. That is a, uh, a long jump sand pitch. She hasn't just gone on her summer holidays early. Another good high jump. That bar's going to keep going up, isn't it? So the Saxons still out in the lead on the left of your screen. Reminder, you can see Alex and Bobby, followed by Tommy them. and Wilf, it looks like. So they are not just competing for themselves, but also their house. And so just peeping out from behind that tree now. It's still the same two boys. Bobby is right on Alex's tail. Yeah, still the Saxons 1-2 there. Quietly happy about that, sir. Of course, we are impartial on this commentary team, so... Of course. Go, Saxons. Outrageous. As they come on to the final <laughs> straight, Alex is starting to pump his arms, and Bobby is hanging on in there, and it'll be really interesting to see what will happen in these last 50 metres or so. We've also got Wilf doing an overtake into third place there. Brilliant effort right to the end. Come on, Tommy, there's still a bit of, still a bit of energy in you. You've got this. Alex LD first, Bobby Zoo second, Wilf strong finish into third, Tommy Hodgson in fourth for the Normans. And we have Harry Hatcher comfortably crossing the line in fifth. We've got a Luke Graves there and a Joshua Butler King still working their way around. Great effort, boys. Excellent effort from all the boys. Well done. It's quite a distance, actually. Strong finish by Luke, pumping his arms and striding out. Well done, Luke. Fantastic. And it's brilliant to see Natey by the track, really encouraging his brother there. We assume he's encouraging his brother. We can't actually hear what he's saying. He might be heckling him for all we know. It could be sibling rivalry. We're not 100% sure, but we're going to say in the, uh, you know, in the spirit of sportsmanship that he's encouraging him. It, it looked encouraging to me. It looked encouraging. Well done, Joshua. Well done, boys. Brilliant. So they're going to they're sit on the bench and get a well-deserved rest. Wilf has fallen off the bench. I think he's okay. Uh, well, they will be assessed by our game staff there. Now, the next track events we have whilst we wait for those boys to get their breath back is the Year 5 Girls 200 Metres Division 3. So we start off Division 3, uh, 200 metres. 
in lane one is nobody. It's going to be a free lane. <laughs> and in lane two, we've got Aya Pitchforth. In lane three, we've got Daisy Fairham. Lane four would be Barney Sarah. Uh, lane five, Isla Reed for the Saxons. And in lane six, Florence Kluska Artemis for the Britons. Okay, and whilst we wait for them to get into their positions, we're just looking at, uh, I think it's the long jump over there, Lily Hanna, looking very calm and collected as she waits to go down the track. Lily Hanna gets a nod of approval and she sets off. Good jump there, running forward. It's, it's a good technique. Now, I'm going to try and find where our, our runner went. I want Harry Ward to tell me more about this record that has been broken. I will be back, sir. No problem. You go and find out about the record and see if we, see if we can get an exact time. Um, thank you, Alex Long. Another message saying brilliant race for the, for the boys. That was a very good race. Yeah, very tight indeed. Yes, Maggie Lunn currently nice down the long jump track. Good jump, falling forward. Very good. Now, obviously, the pupils will have been working on their skills and techniques as we see Iola uh, flop onto the high jump mat there. They will have been working on the skills and techniques in their PE lessons with, uh, with Miss Robinson and Mr. Richards and Mr. Evans as well. Um, there we go, Max Dinning just knocking the bar down there. You can see there Mr. Myers Allen getting Mr. Harry Ward to find out more about the record. Now, obviously, we are very fortunate here at Hancross Park to have such wonderful grounds. So I think a huge shout out and a massive thank you to all the ground staff and the maintenance team for getting the sports day uh, up and running because there's a huge amount of work that goes on in the background in getting everything sorted, all the lines marked out, all the tents put up, um, everything in place, all the chairs out for the parents. So a huge thank you to our, uh, our amazing grounds team and also the maintenance team uh, and everyone behind the scenes uh, for putting on this sports day. Now... Mr. Myers Allen has returned. No information as of yet. Harry is on it. He's running around asking various members of staff for the time. What the exact time? Go on then. Let's 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 predict. So, so the previous record was three minutes seven seconds, but we know that Lexi's broken it. What do you think the time was that she finished in? I mean, if that record hasn't been broken in ten years. Or oh, oh, hang on, we we have a runner here, and he's holding a stopwatch. So I'm hoping he's going to tell us the time that Lexi Ford. Did it in. Seb, what time was it in? Um, beforehand, the record was three minutes and seven seconds, but she got it in three minutes and two seconds. That That's is a five second win. Wow, we. That is incredible. So she shaved five seconds off a time which hasn't been broken for 10 years. That, that's remarkably impressive. Now, in lower school sports day, I believe we had three or four records broken. It was absolutely brilliant. Hopefully we'll see some more records and get some more details for you about what exactly records have been broken and what times or heights or distances they were. So here we have Vigo uh, with the shot put. Go Saxons. Oof. If Vigo is as good a shot put as he is uh, as good at art, he's going to be incredible. Vigo is an incredible artist. Absolutely amazing. A bit of a practice for the camera there. Finish the second round and we're on 95 centimetres, so we're just about to break one metre in a minute and most of them are still in, in the competition. No, I believe you could hear that. That's Mr. Clark saying that we're about to move the bar up to one metres, and that was Vigo's throw. A bit of a giggle after it. Now, oh, the, the heavens have briefly opened here, and we are getting tiny specks of rain on us here, which you know, usually Miss Robinson's a very good barometer. She's like the, you know, a barometer of when the clocks have changed, because when she changes out of her hoodie and her truxy bottoms and the shorts come out, you tend to know the weather's going to be better, but she's judged it wrong today. Should we be worried? We're holding these microphones very close to our faces. About the rain, <laughs> not just not just the microphone placement, sir. I think we'll be okay. Mr. Carter there looked at me very confused. What am I talking about? I'm of course talking about rain, water, and electrical equipment. I'm an English teacher. Apologies, sir. Okay, so on the far side of the track on uh, 
the far bend of the track, actually. Miss Robinson is currently getting the Year 5 pupils into position for their 200 metres event. So the uh, Year 5 girls Division 3 event will start shortly, but the other pupils are over there just getting briefed about where they need to start, when they need to start, when they don't need to start. And actually, the girls are in position there. We can see them. We've already gone through the lane, we so we won't say that again, but you'll see them getting ready now. Look, as the wind picks up, might benefit them around the track. A bit of a, an adjustment of hair from Barney there. Now for 200 metres, it's that first bend and then the straight. There is the blast of the gun and off they go. Isla Reid has made a strong start there, I think, as, she's, as she comes around the final bend. Now it's going to be a real push for home as they come down this last 100 metres or so. But Barney might, it looks like she's gone into the lead. So it's that Saxon's doing very well. Barney is in the lead at the moment, followed by Isla Reid, but it's very close. And Barney checking over her left and right shoulder there. And she's still got a bit of space as she approaches the line. Barney takes first. It looks like Isla will take second. Florence Klusker Artemis in third. Daisy Fairham coming in fourth there. So you must be pretty happy as a Saxons man. So you've just had Alex LD and Bobby Zoo bring home a Saxons 1 2. And then now you've had uh, two Saxons there, Isla and Barney coming first and second in the Division Three girls 200 metres. Well, as you mentioned earlier, we are completely unbiased. Uh, but yeah, that's it. It was good to see. OK, we'll move on now to the Division Two girls 200 metres. Uh, lanes one and two are vacant. So in lane three, we have Beatrice Hogarth for the Normans. And in lane four, Claudia Vivalba Alves. Uh, lane five, Darcy Blakemore for the Vikings. And then Tamara Kiuna for the Vikings as well. Four girls in this race. And here they go. Oof. Good start awesome. for the Norman there. Darcy Blakemore is herring B. Hogarth on the inside. This could be close. It is getting significantly wetter here. Now, is this rain going to affect their sprinting 200 meters fairly quick race is it going to affect friction is it going to affect their performance today i don't know it's going to make it colder darcy blakemore striding out the last 50 meters it's going to be tight b hogarth and Claudia look like I think it's Claudia's gonna to Darcy Blakemore first, Claudia second, B Hogarth third, and Tamara doing very well to finish the race here in fourth. Well done to all of the girls. Thank you very much. Very close race there. We've just been informed that our microphones are fine. I believe that was in response to my question earlier, worrying about electricity and water. I knew that already. I just thought I'd let you think on it. Thank you. You're welcome. So this will be the Division 1, the final, the girls' Year 5, 200 metres final. Miss Robinson's got a green flag up. She is rattling through the races at the moment. So the girls' 200 metres final is coming up any second now. In lane one, we've got a Connie Lunn for the Saxons. In lane two was going to be Alexia, but Alexia, you're watching at home, so you can run it in spirit. But we've got lane three, Etty Whale for the Normans. Lane four, Toyosi Akinola. Lane five, Lexi Ford for the Britons. Lane six, Florence Ward for Saxons. And lane seven, Cecilia Sheldon for the Vikings. And in lane eight, Amelia Bjorn for Vikings as well. The record for this was set by someone by the name of S. James in 2014. The record is 30 seconds and 90 milliseconds. And Toyosi, as that, we've almost blinked and missed it. Toyosi over the finish line, Lexi Ford in second. I think Amelia Bjorn in third. That was, that was ridiculously fast. We've got Harry here. Harry, can we send you off to find what time that was? Because we blinked and completely missed that one. We were still Toyosi. talking it through. Toyosi, Toyosi in first place. 
for the Saxons. Another Saxon victory. Oh, we're moving straight on. She's lining these up. So we're moving straight on now to the boys. Uh, Division three, 200 meters final. Lane one, Leon O. Lane two, Ewan Doherty for the Vikings. Lane three, Jad Nakuzi. Lane four, Diogo Costa. Lane five, Nati Butler King. Lane six, Omar Lacal. Lane seven, Salvador Wellinghoff. And lane eight, Mohammed Shah or Musa Shah. So the boys um, are in their positions. Terrible. They're ready to start. The rain has stopped. Life is good. Meters. Some very good ready positions there. I believe that's Leon with about a 45 degree bend forward. He is ready. Ah, we're now joined behind us, Miss Pets, and she's got an umbrella, obviously VIP. Miss Robinson has got her green flag in the air. We've got Harry Ward back here, and he's told us that the winning time for the Year 5 girls, 200 metres, was... 35 seconds. 35 seconds. So not quite a record, but very strong running by Toyosi. So well done. So Miss Robinson, the boys are ready. Musa is in a strong stance. He's smiling, which is what it's all about. We just quickly go Ooh. In. Lovely bit of a jump there. Fosbury flop. Olivia Smith for the Normans. Harry, can we send you off and uh, discover what height that high jump is currently at? We look above one metre. Remember, if you are watching at home, you can send us a message of support for anyone competing today. Uh, the number that you can text us in is 07563 623 960. You can see it on your screen there. So that's 07563 623 960. 960. Send in message of support for people competing. And here we have some lovely, lovely certificates that will surely go on bedroom walls uh, being given out to Amelia Bjorn, Toyosi, and I believe that's Lexi Ford in first place. For 800 metres, I believe. And 800 metres. The boys, Division 3, 200 metres is off, and that's a Strong start, actually, as you can see there. Leon on the inside looks like he's working extremely hard. We've got Natey in the middle as well. He's pumping arms nicely as they round that top bend for the final straight. This could be interesting. Leon looks like he's still holding out on the lead there, which is going to be... I mean, it's a Norman. It's a Norman. Don't sound so excited, sir. Leon in first. Oh, Ooh. oh we're going to have a tight finish. And actually, I think Mr. Evans is going to have to use his trusty iPad. That looked to me like a Leon followed by an Omar right at the last second. I think Omar might have pipped it, but we're going to have to wait. So you will see there. Mr. Oh, we're going to go to an action replay. So Leon comfortably takes first place. And I think it is Omar. Looking clinched. to his left as well. To the left, to the left. He clinches second place. So that's a Normans 1-2. About time we had some Normans on the podium. Again, Leon impartial commentating. Second, now, Leon, at the beginning of this race, he had a really keen setup, 45 degree Leon lean Leon forward, Leon looking Leon really Leon ready to compete. Well Possibly done. how you start affects how you finish. And we are ready, actually, for the Division 2 200 metres for the boys, Year 5 boys. Lane 1, Ryan Hussain for the Britons. Lane 2, Joshua Butler King for Vikings. Lane 3, Kyle Zhang for Normans. Lane 4, Noah Freeman for Britons. Lane 5, Scott Colburn for Saxons. Lane 6, Manana Treasure for Britons. Lane 7, Hugh Watkin for Britons. And Lane 8, Luke Graves for the Vikings. So, four Britons in this race. They've got a very good chance of get on the podium in this race. As we see there, the girls are collecting their certificates. So Darcy Blakemore in first place. Uh, looks like Claudia in second and B in third. As the boys are off. Blimey, it's a fast. That's a Noah Freeman there, really stretching his legs. My word, these... This is fast. This is very fast indeed, as Noah comes onto the final straight now. 
pumping those legs and those arms are working like pistons. Looks uh, like a Noah followed by a Kyle. And then behind that, is that Scott? I think it's Scott, but on the inside is Luke Graves. Lucky Graves. Here we go. Noah Freeman for the Britons in first place. Oh, Luke Graves takes second. Kyle Zhang third. Scott Colborne fourth. Excellent running. Really exciting that race. Now, I feel like we shouldn't dwell too much because Miss Robinson went to the final last time and we pretty much missed it. So it's Division One. They've been put there because of their PE scores. Here we go. In lane one, Richard Mellor. In lane two, Sebastian Pote of the Vikings. In lane three, Alexander LD for the Saxons. Uh, lane four would have, you been, would have been you, Alex Long, but you're at home, so run it in your mind and do well. And in lane six, Bobby... Lane five, lane, five. lane five, Alex Long... Oh, lane five, Bobby Zoo for the Saxons. You're distracting me. Lane six is Wilf Clary for the Vikings. And lane seven, Harry Hatcher for the Britons, followed by lane eight. I'm doing the double. I'm reading two out. Lane eight, Tommy Hodgson there. So the boys and getting ready. Oh, we see Aliyah McKean make a successful high jump. Getting some tips from our, one of our gap shooters, Miss Hutchinson, is a very keen high jumper. Miss Robinson's green flag is in the air, which signals she is ready to commence the race. Now the record for the boys year five, 200 meters was set in 2006 and it was 30 seconds and 98 milliseconds. They have started strong. 2006. Welcome, 2000. They have six. started very strongly indeed. Bobby Zoo is Saxon out front. Oh, no comment. Here they come now into the final 75 meters or so. Bobby Zoo looks like he's in the lead. And fast approaching the finish line. Oh, we've got some tired legs out there, but Bobby Zoo is pulling ahead. Bobby Zoo in first place will be followed by. Ooh. That's either a Wilf Clary or an Alex L. Deeb in second place there. We might have to go for a slow motion replay. I think we might have to. Yeah, I think it was Alex followed closely by Wilf, but we'll have to wait for the... Uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Edwards is looking intently at his iPad. He's obviously watching it in slow-mo, just to confirm. So that's a good finish for Bobby there. Now... Oh, that is. He, he stretched his leg out, which I think is the preferred method by the professionals. Oh, Wilf has gone for a good dip there, though, towards the line. And I, I don't know, the, the angle that we're at could be deceiving here. We're going to have to wait and see from Mr. Evans' iPad how they've positioned them on the bench. And it looks like he has positioned it. It looks like Alex just to pips Will. So a Saxons 1 2 again. Saxons, Saxons, Vikings, Vikings, Britons, Normans, Normans. Okay, so the next event we will have shortly, once you see the boys there collecting their certificates, we will move on to the 300 meter final. So we don't have any heats or divisions, it's just a 300 meters final. So for the year five girls, once they've been, I think there'll be a little bit of a break whilst they catch their, catch we, their breath. We could take a look at some of the, some of the field events. We could. We could. I know there's a white button I should be pressing to talk to the man in the van to to do that, but that's uh, covered up with a tarp. Podium, that looks like a tarp. Tamara two, Rodriguez there jumping into the uh, the sand pit. Jumping into the sand pit makes it sound a lot more playful than actually it is. Obviously, it's a sports day. It's competitive. That is Bahama sand. That is top grade long jump sand. Sam Trot there. And we see the podium. Luke Graves, second place. place. That was Kyle Zhang in third. Luke Graves in second. Congratulations to Noah. Noah Freeman finished very strong as he's getting onto the podium for first place. Well done indeed. So a little bit of a break. Just whilst we wait. Oh, a bit of excitement over at the high jump there. Tyler for the Normans just cleared pretty decent height. We're just waiting for uh, for Harry Ward to find out exactly what the height is. Previously, when he came over, it was at one meter, five centimeters. Ooh, wanting another go at that one. That's Catriel there. Max Dinning down the long jump. Good land. Pulled his legs up nicely there, Max. Here's Catriel for a second go at that. No, again, not feeling it. They need to recheck her run up. Here we go, take three. 
Oh, superb, Capriel. Well so done. And and we had Sadie and Lily running Sadie over, absolutely Sadie over the moon for Catriel, getting over that bar. Place. Many congratulations to Rory McGavick on the long Radio. jump for Britons there, hurtling down the track. Beautiful stuff. In second place for our 800 metres is Bobby. Well done, Bobby. Bobby there receiving his certificate for and the 800 metres. Now it looks like Mr. Robinson is just getting the participants, the runners and riders for the 300 metres final into position. Um, so lane one, we will have Connie Lunn for the Saxons. Lane two, we will have Etty Whale for the Normans. Lane three, we have Amelia Bjorn for the Vikings. Lane four, Toyosi Akinola for Saxons. Uh, lane five, third race on the bounce, Lexi Ford for the Britons. And lane six, Florence and Ward for Saxons. Uh, lane seven, Cecilia Sheldon for the Vikings. And lane and eight, three, Claudia Vavalba Alves for the Britons. Harry is here to tell us more about the high jump. Harry, what did you find out? The height is 115 currently. 115. Do we know what the record is, Harry? He knows a specific person. He knows a specific date. He is a very useful person to have around. In case you didn't hear that, the record is 1.23. Oh, sorry, 1.33, and that was set by Amelia Lynch, who is currently in year seven. So that's a recent record that's been set. Um, let's see if anyone can break that record today. Vigo has obviously moved away from the shot put area and is now jumping into the sandpit. Oh, and we're off for the girls' 300 meters final, as you can see just behind the house tents there. Being cheered on by peers in their houses. And Harry behind me is very excited. He's actually got a sibling in this race. We've got a Florence Ward in this race. Harry's got all of his fingers and his toes crossed. This again looks like incredibly strong running. Now the record for this was set back in 2015. and was 56.7 seconds. But Lexi Ford is flying. Not literally, that'd be cheating, but she is going at quite a pace. And it doesn't look like she's slowing down. She's accelerating the all the way to the line. To the line. We've even got a Cecilia Sheldon running the 100 metres to the side of this we race as for support. Brilliant. Brilliant running by Lexi Ford. First, First place for Britain's Toyosi. Fantastic running. We'll finish in second for the Saxons. And Amelia Bjorn coming in third Amelia. for the Vikings. Fantastic running by all the girls involved there. Now we need to find out if that was another record from Lexi Ford. We're going to go and find out the time. Now some of these girls are running all four track events. Now how are they changing their tactics for each of these? They're, they're running 800 metres to begin with, long distance. Going then into the 200 metres, more of a sprint. Back to the 300 metres, then to the 100. How do they keep all of that stuff in their head? Mind games. Mind games. So the boys 300 metres final will commence shortly in lane one for the Britons, Harry Hatcher. In lane two, we've got a Wilf Clary for Vikings. In lane three for the Saxons, Alexander Eldeeb. Lane four, Richard Meller, Normans. Lane five for the Saxons, Bobby Zoo. Lane six, Sebastian Pote, Vikings. Uh, lane seven for the Vikings, Luke Graves. Lane eight, uh, Alex Long, who I believe is at home sending us lovely messages. Thank you, Alex, for your participation from your couch. Now, we do have Harry Ward with us again. He's gone off to find out what the record was for the previous girls' 300 metres final. Uh, so no, sorry, if it's been broken. So the previous record, again, just to reiterate, was 56.7 seconds. And the time for Lexi Ford? 57 seconds. Just a second. 57 seconds, so 0 0.3 of a second off a record. That is very close, particularly when you consider she's obviously broken, obviously uh, previously broken one record. And yeah. run in many races 
prior yeah. to that. Wow, we fantastic. Now, thank you very much, Harry. Thank you. Now the boys' uh, record was set in 2019 by Olivier Mosley Davis, who's obviously got a brother competing today in year six, and that record was 52 seconds and 29 milliseconds. So we will see how they go. They are under starters' orders. And we have Mr. We're over at the long jump there and crossing over to the high jump. A bar falling off there. And the boys are off behind the house tents. And some encouragement there from one of the girls as the boys go around that top end of the track. And a bit of a pack forming there. No one wanting to sprint too soon. And over at the podium with myself and Harry. I spoke too soon. Bobby is now starting to stretch out that lead. His legs going like a quick thing. Place, many congratulations to Amelia. Like a quick thing. In You're the English one, Sam. Place, yes, purely man. Wasn't one of the better similes I've heard this year. What's a simile? Oh, it's when you compare and something to something else using like or as. As, as fast as a cheetah. Well oh. Okay, I'm going to try one of those later, you'll see. Here comes Bobby Zoo in first place for the Saxons as he crosses the finish line. Alex LD shortly behind him and Wilf Clary quick glance over his shoulder in third place, followed by Harry Hatcher in fourth. And we've got Richard, Seb and Luke Graves there. And again, we're seeing Bobby emerge at the front of the pack, followed again by Alex LD. Wow, we. Saxons 1 2. Don't even try and contain your excitement, Mr. Myers Allen. Go, Saxons. Okay, so obviously, again, we're giving Miss Robinson some time to uh, change location because it, we will be changing events shortly and we will be moving on to the 100 metres. As we can see, Olivia Smith, jubilant. Absolutely amazing. But that bar looks ridiculously high. And there does, look, there does appear to be quite a few green shirts there next to the high jump still left in there. What house of green? That's, uh, that's, that's Normans. Come on, the Normans. Go Saxons. And anyone else taking part. Athletics is the winner today, I feel. And there we see it. George Musgrave. George Musgrave having a go at long jump. They're just checking his score, checking that. Oh, he's. Uh, what? I landed there, he's saying. That's not right. Have another look. He's just checking that. Uh, and in the this, foreground, this we see a sea. water bottle being passed over by a parent to uh, Lily Whale. I hope that's just water. No performance enhancing things here. No Red Bull. I'll have to talk to a judge about that. That's not allowed. Other energy drinks are available. Yes, we are not an advert for Red Bull. However, if Red Bull do want to sponsor us, please feel free. The number has uh, flashed up on the screen and we will be eagerly waiting your call. Good effort by Oliver Ransom there at the long jump. And the boys there receiving their certificates from In Mr. Brown. And to just take note, they are competing in the 800, the 300, the 200, and soon to be the 100. So it's a fabulous, fabulous effort all round. Oh, Tia has cleared that bar again. Confident head nod there, she knows. She cleared that with quite some distance as well. And a great throw there from Nyan as it looks like he's dashing off to compete in another event. And we're swooping over to what, I, what looks like the ball throw over there. And we're having a look at the aftermath of the tier jump. Shockwaves felt around the world. Well done. Luke Rourke. Oh, that's a good throw at the shot put. Good technique. That left arm. Usain bolting his way up.
And a skip off after a successful throw there. It's quite windy today, as you can probably see from the, uh, the tape, just marking out the safe areas for spectators, billowing in the wind. It's wafting around like a kite in the breeze. Good use of a simile, Mr. Myers. I am pleased. We need to work on metaphors next. Thank you very much. Oh, and a great jump there from a Louis Mosley Davis. I think it looks like what's a collective noun for a group of middle school pupils? We've got a, a, a gaggle of pupils heading towards the top of the 100 meters track, ready to take their places. Um, and it will start with the girls, Year 5 girls, Division 3, 100 metres, where we have five runners and riders. In lane two, we'll have Daisy Fairham from the Vikings. In lane three, we'll have a Florence Klusker Artemis for the Britons. In lane four, we will have Tamara Kuna for the Vikings. Lane five, Aya Pitchforth, Britons. And in lane six, Isla Reed for the Saxons. So Miss Robinson is just going to get the girls into position. So we have uh, and Robinson then we will be in a position to start. And a bit of a, a shoe incident the there from Farron. He's resetting his run. Here we go. Very springy there. Legs flying really higher than his head went. It looks like he has another attempt at that height. So Miss, Ro Miss Robinson, just getting the pupils all sorted and briefing them. You will see on the screen at various points as well, you'll obviously notice there are some year sevens dotted around and they are very kindly helping out with the logistics and organization of sports day. They're doing a fantastic job. Obviously we've got Harry working with us who's here, there and everywhere, finding out uh, different results and different pieces of information, but lots of Year 7s dotted around on your screen, helping out with Sports Day, so thank you, Year 7s. And a beautiful jump there from Tyler, running straight over his to, to his sister to celebrate. That was absolutely brilliant technique. His back just arched over the bar. Like an archy thing. No? I'll keep working it on start, it. Yeah, keep working on the similes. Keep working on them. Like a bridge, like a bridges of a. I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna leave that one. And a bit of coaching there from Miss Dawson to a Norman. Oh, a good confident throw as well. Not a good throw. Um. Lots of parents there gathering, enjoying the day. You can see Cecilia Sheldon next to the Vikings tent, skipping. Just skipping. And Tia looking like she's getting ready for another attempt. Here she goes. Oh, superb, Tia. A big cheer. You've probably heard that on the microphone. You can see the year six is sat next to the high jump, really cheering her on and encouraging her. Very good by Tia. That bar gets higher and higher. Where is Harry? Let's find some information about high, how high that actually is. High, high that actually is? How high? How high? Like reverse limbo. High jump is reverse limbo. When you think about it, the bar gets higher and you've got to go over it, not under it. <laughs> and whilst we're waffling, Farron comfortably we springing over that reverse course. limbo bar. I don't think I yet introduced. We have Mr. Myers Allen and Mr. Carter commentating online, reaching at our hands. Audiences. Hello, fans. They are giving away. They have a text in function as well. We so do. A number has been given out, and parents are texting in with messages of 
congratulations or good luck and best wishes. Go so Saxons and things like that. Mr. Carter and Mrs. My Mr. Myers Allen, should you want to. Thank you for not assuming, but it's Mr. Myers Allen. The number is on the screen if you do want to text in. We have our Division 3 100 metre Year 5 girls taking to the start line. So, the Division 3 Year 5 girls 100 metres participants are taking their places at the start line. We will have to be quick with this one because obviously it's a... Oh, and we're off already! As you can see there, it's going to be... That's a Daisy Fairham in the second lane. A Florence Kluska Artemis in lane two for the Britons. Tamara Kuna in lane four. And that's an Isla Reed in lane six. Stretching out the lead for the Saxons. Well done, well done Isla Reed in first place. Tamara finished second, Florence third, Daisy fourth. Well done to all the girls. Now, I'm conscious that Miss Robinson is probably going to be really speedy with this. So, Division 2 will be next, Year 5, 100 metres. In lane 3, we've got Beatrice Hogarth for the Normans. In lane 4, Barney for the Saxons. Lane 5, Alexia Normans. Who's watching at home? Running, run it in your mind. Apologies. And lane 6, Darcy Blakemore for the Vikings. under 11 girls by Naomi. Oh, well, it sounds like we've got uh, some results for full throw, I think that was. So we might need to get Harry to find out the times for that. It sounded like Naomi Hamilton, but we'll get Harry to confirm in due course. So the girls, you see there, they're just making sure that their feet are in the correct places. B. Hogarth and someone behind a tree. And there's Iola Cairns for the Saxons. Confident jump. Falling forward, exiting sideways. Oh, and we're off. Good, oh, strong start by B, but this could be tight. Actually, we're down to... It's going to be very tight indeed. It's quite hard to tell from this angle as we see the girls hurtling down for the last 25 metres. But Darcy Blakemore is in the lead for the Vikings, followed by Barney and then Beatrice Hogarth for third place for the Normans. Well done to all the girls. Superb. And again, we will move on pretty quickly. Iola with her another jump there, another confident jump. And uh, in this last race, which is the Division 1 race, lane one, Claudia. For the Britons. Lane two, Cecilia Sheldon for the Vikings. Lane three, Amelia Bjorn. Lane four, Toyosi for the Saxons. Lane five, Florence Ward for Saxons. Lane six, Lexi Ford for the Britons. Lane seven, it's a Norman, it's Etty Whale. Uh, lane eight, it's a Saxon, it's Connie Lunn. And the record for this race, the year five girls, 100 metres. I don't know the year, it doesn't say it's on my sheet, but it's 14.7 seconds. 14.7 seconds as you see them on the line there. Miss Robinson, shades on, hoodie on, shorts on. She's ready to rock, she's ready to roll. It's the girls, division one, 100 metres final. Let's get it on. Claudia looking ready for that pistol to fire. Oh, and they are off. Toy OC looking like she's had a great start there. Toy OC is certainly in the lead for the Saxons. What a sports day she's had. Lexi Ford pumping her arms just behind. It's going to be Toy OC first. Ah, Lexi Ford second, I think. Third place will be very tight. It was between Amelia Bjorn and Florence Ward. So we'll have to go over to the Race Line Technology, or RLT, as we will refer to it from now on. Root. RLT, Root. I was being funny here. Root. There was the slow motion replay there. It looks too close to cool from where we're looking. That is tight indeed. Ooh. I would say possibly at that angle, Florence, then Amelia. But we will have to wait to see what Mr. Evans and Tia Yu. Oh, she can't believe it. She's ecstatic. She is delighted with that, as are all her friends. Look at the support she's getting. That is really nice to see. Obviously, different houses cheering her on. So not just Norman's happy about that, but other houses as well. Well done, Tia. Right, 
So next up will be the boys. Division three, 100 meters. In lane one will be Ewan Doherty. Lane two, Salvador for the Britons. Uh, lane three will be Diogo for the Normans. Lane four, Leon, Normans. Lane five, Ryan, Britons. Lane six, Nathaniel Butler King for the Vikings. Lane seven, also for the Vikings, Jad Nakuzi. And lane eight, Musa Shah for the Saxons. Here we go. 100 meters to Darcy. Well done, girls. Now I'm going to go off on a bit of a solo mission here. I'm going to do a bit of an investigate about Ooh. the high jump. I will return. Please do. So the boys for the Division 300 meters are under starters' orders. Oh, full start there. A little bit of eagerness and over-enthusiasm. Thankfully, Miss Robinson is very kind and she will let them start again. Oh, fantastic jump on the high jump there from Farron Elmalas, that looks like, for the Vikings. Cleared it what looked pretty comfortably. Fantastic. Well, on Farron. The high jump over there. That's where Mr. Myers Allen's gone to investigate because it looks like they are flying, literally and metaphorically. Now, that is actually an event you're watching. There isn't just a, a rogue child throwing balls at a parent. It is an event, and there's a very helpful parent helping to return the forms. Okay, so the boys for the Division 300 metres are off, and there's a little bit of lane crossing going on there, I think. But they are now coming up past the parents and it looks like Ewan and Leon are going head to head, oh, toe to toe and meters. everything else as we approach the finish line. And it's, oh, that is so oh, close. Very, very I can't even tell. Close. Musa, he Ewan and Leon well were all pretty neck and neck. And Mr. Myers Allen is literally crossing the track you. there, you'll see. <laughs> he is speaking to Frederick, our catering so manager. So, so here we go. here's the replay. It looks like Leon's going to take it. Watch Musa on the inside lane. Now, I think Musa has what? Musa first, Leon second, and Ewan in third. Musa for the Saxons has pipped that. That was a great race to watch. Unbelievable. Extremely close. Fantastic, boys. Well done. I think that's what they're checking, and that's been confirmed by the RLT. Wilt. Uh, as we move now on to Division 2, Year 5 boys, 100 metres. In lane 1 for the Britons, Hugh Watkin. Lane 2, Joshua Butler, King Viking. In lane 3 for the Saxons, Alex Eldeeb. Lane 4, Omar LaCal Normans. Uh, lane 5 for the Britons, Harry Hatcher. Lane 6 for the Vikings, Sebastian Pote. In lane 7 for the Normans, Richard Meller. And in lane 8, Manan, a treasure. And it looks like they are getting ready. Omar, very excited to be racing today. A little bit of a dance breaking out there. Oh, I thought Mr. Brown was going to join in there on the far side of your screen. He looked like he was getting into position. So, and they are off. The sound of the gun. And the boys of Alex LD pumping those arms. Harry Hatcher in the middle of swell. The boys, the pack starting to split up now. As they come into the last 25 meters or so, it's going to be very tight indeed. Finish line. It looks like a Hatcher Ooh. first place for the Britons. Harry Hatcher first. And it's going to be very tight for second place. Again, we're going to have to go to race line technology to see who came second and who came third. Very tight indeed. We'll have to wait for a replay. An instant replay. Here we go. Hatcher in the lead for the Britons. He takes first place. Oh, I think Sebi Pope second and Alex Eldeeb third. And I think that's what Mr. Evans is looking at at the moment on his iPad. We're just waiting for it to be confirmed. Now, Alex started that race strong, but I think it's how you finish. Those two boys that overtook there, wow we Just determination all the way up until the line. Perseverance and resilience. And it looks like those places have been confirmed. I believe in horse racing, this is where they say, wade in, wade in. But we won't do that. But it looks like it's been confirmed by Mr. Evans. Anyway, the boys, 100 metres, final. 
In lane one for the Saxons, Scott Colborn. Lane two, Kyle Zhang Norman. Lane three for the Vikings, Luke Graves. Lane four, Wilf Clary. Lane five for the Saxons, Bobby Zoo. Lane six, Noah Freeman. Lane seven for the Normans, Tommy Hodgson. Lane eight for Saxons is not here. He is at home. We love hearing his messages. It's Alex Long. OK, they're in position. We are getting ready for, oh, there was a that's the high jump. I did do a bit of investigating, oh. as you'll remember. Oh. The bar is up at 130. 130. 130. The record's 133. Oh, Blimey, I mean, we're close. And the boys are off. Bobby Zoo is speeding. Wolf Clary is not far behind him. And Noah really pushing. And it looks like as they come, Bobby Zoo first, Wolf Clary second, Noah Freeman third, Luke Graves fourth. In the order we described them. Well done, boys. In those positions, exactly. Over at the podium. Fantastic running there. Brilliant. Well done, boys. Now, just to update you on proceedings, those of you watching at home, that Year 5 Boys 100 Metres Final concludes the Year 5 track event. So what will happen now is they'll have a little bit of a breather whilst we wait for the Year 6s to finish their uh, field events. As you can see, the, the high jump is still... Uh, going on at the moment and then once the year sixes have finished their events their field events everyone will swap over so the year sixes will move to the track where we will begin with the uh, girls 800 meters final and the year fives will move on to their field events and the bar i believe is still at 130 i've just heard from passing by farron is this where the phrase setting the bar high comes from do you think Undoubtedly. Lots of support and encouragement for Tia there, which is nice to see. And some support from her brother as well, which is lovely. This is a call for Naomi Hamilton in year six. If she could please come to me, I would be very grateful. So, just trying to work out... Oh, wait, we've got a ball throw going on still there. Good catch, Mr. Deersley. What a take that is. So whilst we're waiting, a break in play, we are joined with a real-life athlete. His name is Louis Mosley Davis. He's in year six. Louis, how do you feel like your field events went? Uh, I thought they went really well. The high jump was particularly good. Yeah. Uh, what height did you manage to get to on the high jump? I went out on one meter twenty-five. That's very impressive, Louis. Well done. And how are you feeling about the track events ahead? Uh, a bit, a bit nervous, but hopefully we'll go okay. Yeah. Give it your all, Louis. Good luck to you. Thank you for okay, speaking to you. us. Okay, Cheers. Bye bye. And a reminder, these pupils are competing in more than one track event, more than one field event. So an outstanding effort. Yeah, it looks like the high jump there is finished because we've now got a collection of Year 7 pupils who are taking a break in play, using this pause to sunbathe. The sun is now out, you'll be pleased to hear. Which is quite nice after the shower we had earlier. Boys waiting to get on the podium for their certificates. We are saying our congratulations to you. Mr. Myers Allen, is there a sport or an event that you would like to see in Sports Day which isn't in Sports Day already? It can be an alternative one. Well, funnily enough, we were talking about this a little bit during lower school Sports Day. I think if we take the high jump mat away from the high jump, chuck in some tiki torches, maybe some mocktails, a and bit of kind of funky music. We've got ourselves a limbo competition. Bobby. Congratulations, Bobby. You're laughing at that. I'm, I'm completely 100% serious. That's something that the, the pupils could take part in. The parents could even take part in. 
Go on then. Which member of staff would be best at your new sports day event? I, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna plug myself here. I think I'm quite a limbo. I'm a, I'm a, I think I can I can roll my feet sideways to get a bit more. I'm not gonna say height. Le the opposite of height. Shortness. You're in the wrong profession. You should have done the circus. Who said I didn't? Uh, we've got Louis and back here. I sent him on a mini mission because I can't currently find Harry. Louis is going to tell us how high the Year 6 boys and girls ended up in the high jump. Louis, over to you. Okay, so, hello, by the way. <laughs> so, the highest jumps was 1m30 by Farinel Mass and TAU. Thank you very much. Now, our roving reporter on the ground, Louis Mosley Davis. So, not quite a record, but very impressive nonetheless. And in we see there Mr. C putting his rake down for a second, getting the tape measure out. Uh, here you go, the girls getting their presentation for shot put, and that is Naomi Hamilton of the Saxons on top of the podium in first place. That's Saxon, Britain, Britain there. A great jump from Tia. Tia has been uh, participating in the high jump which means now she has run over to the long jump. She's getting her jumps in before they change over to the track events. And it is the same format. We're going to start with the 800, going to go over to the 200, 300, then 100. And I believe we're rounding everything off with the relay. Yeah, the house relay. So... Alternative Sports Day, Limbo. I was going to go for apple bobbing. Apple bobbing. How how big a barrel are we talking? Are we talking a big enough barrel yeah, actually, for everyone's heads to go in and find? Um, do you know what? I haven't risk ass assessed this in my head properly. I'm thinking now, particularly with COVID restrictions, we'd have to re change the water between each person. Otherwise, it wouldn't be COVID compliant. So actually, scrap that idea. It's a terrible idea, Mr. Carter. Well, what if I? Um, chuck this over to you. What about separate barrels? I'm just thinking finances. Yeah, true. We've got the conventionals. We've got um, egg and spoon race. Costume race. Costume race, yes. I like that. Into house climbing. Speed climbing. Climbing was uh, in the Olympics this year. You're, you're a keen climber, aren't you, Mr. Marzalan? Keen, keen climber. So, obviously, uh, Mr. Marzalan and myself were privileged enough to go with the Year Sixes on the on the recent leadership trip to the Peak District, where there was some rock climbing. And Mr. Marzalan, I think, was probably more excited than any of the children about the rock climbing. I um, was so excited. I, I contemplated putting in my own harness into my my bag and take my climbing shoes. I didn't want to look too keen, so I, I left them out in the end, but I, I wish I did. Wasn't enough room in your bag for life. I did not bring a bag for life. I um, brought a big boy rucksack, actually. For big boys. A reminder as well, you know, what event would you like to see added to sports day? We can't guarantee anything, obviously, but in, a, in an alternative world, you can message in. What event would you like to see at sports day? 07563 623 960. You could also mention uh, who is your favorite commentator, Mr. Carter or Mr. Myers Allen. <laughs> oh, we've had one in here saying Mr. Carter. <laughs> You're holding the phone, that's not fair. The sun has come out. Uh, the rain clouds have blown away, and it's a lovely day as we're about to start the track events for the year six. It looks like they're making their way across to the appropriate places. Or just getting organized back in their house tents, one of the two.
that noise you can hear in, over the over the microphones is actually the microphones picking up the bunting blowing in the wind rather ferociously. There we go, as if on cue. Actually, no, it's not. That's a lie. It's the uh, it's the tape on the side of the track. There we have Mr. Brown. Always oh, prepared with his umbrella. More prepared than we were. Lexi Ford there, record breaker today. Now doing shot put. Good technique there. Pinky up, thumb pressed against her neck. And a powerful push forward. Well done. And this is the year six ball throw. We've got in third place, accepting her certificate, and is Claudia, place second place, Catriel. Well and done, first Naomi. place for the ball throw, Naomi, a keen cricketer. Just waiting for those final few, final few field events. Blimey, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Alliteration. What is that? That's when two or more words begin with the same letter, Mr. Myers Allen. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to try some of that later. I'm going to surprise you with it. I may even do a simile a that has alliteration. Brilliant. A alliteration? Alliteration. Ah, alliteration. Ah, alliteration. <laughs> See, those of you at home, Alexia, Alex, thought you could get away without an English lesson today, and yet we're providing it through our in sports commentary. Remote learning to the extreme. Oh, there is Amelia Lynch, who was, or it still is, the previous record holder for the high jump, just flipping onto the mat. That looks like a Darcy Blakemore to me, just warming up. And I think the girls are starting to come over this way, get ready for the 800 metres final. Not quite in position to start yet, but they're congregating there. You'll see just by the finish line. Uh, got a few girls there we've got what have we got one oh we've got four normans in this race what where's the judges we've got olivia smith tia lily hannah and aliha mckeen all normans one saxon iola cairns so the, the other houses are available the lane positionings for the girls' 800 metres final will be as follows. In lane number one for the Normans, Olivia Smith. Lane two, Catriel for the Vikings. Uh, lane three, Tia Yu for the Normans. Lane four, Iola for the Saxons. Lane five, Claudia Allison for the Britons. Lane six, Lily Hanna for the Normans. Lane seven, Aliha McKean for the Normans. Lane eight, Alice Wielden, or as I call her, Alike Wahilden for the Britons. And the record for the year six, 800 metres uh, final was set in 2019. Uh, sorry, no, it wasn't at all. 2013. That's a three at the end of that number. Sorry, yes, I'm still learning. 2013, and it was two minutes and 52 milliseconds. 52 seconds. Two minutes, 52 seconds. Sorry, you're right. Two minutes, 52 seconds. This is why we've got a maths teacher with us dream team we make up for each other's flaws and we're open to learn so we are joined by one of the high jump winners farron elmalas farron how are you feeling um good i hurt uh, my back you hurt your back yeah but are you feeling are you feeling proud of yourself um yeah yeah? Yeah. And what, how are you feeling about the track events that you've got coming up now? Not good. I hate track events. 
<laughs> but you're normally very good at the track events. Yeah, uh, I, j I just don't like track events. It's too okay. nervy in weather. <laughs> okay, well, best of luck, Farron. I hope you do well. Thank you. Farron Elmalas there. Not a fan of track events, but in previous years, he's been very good at them. So we'll have to wait and see how he gets on this year. So, how are we doing in terms of the girls? Miss Robinson, I think we're still waiting for a couple more field events to finish. Mr. Evans is walking no, by the tree with his clipboard no, very purposefully. Girls, there goes an Amelia Bjorn. In place, I think actually, they've started. And some more certificates being given out there for, for, I believe it's year long, six jump. Girls, long Jump. Two, year six girls. Iola. And that is Claudia in third place. Tia getting girls, the certificate brilliant. for second. And Iola, a Saxon, getting the certificate for first place. Other houses are available. Joking aside, all, all houses do have the equal chance and we applaud all the houses. I apologize for <laughs> being jokingly biased. It's been noted. Sorry, sir. Okay, Miss Robinson now gets in the 800 meters finalists, sat down on the bench into their position. So obviously the girls will go first, followed by the boys. Now, Miss Robinson as well, possibly a good candidate for our imaginary sports day event, the the limbo, low center of gravity. No, no more comment on that. No, I, I can't argue with that. No, I mean that in the nicest way possible. But then, what about a, uh, a your dream, your staff dream relay team, four members of staff to do your relay for you? Who are you going for? You can pick yourself. You can pick yourself all four positions if you want, like you just did the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am extraordinary. Whilst I have a think, we've got. Um, oh no, she's she's scared by the the glitz and the glamour of the commentary box. She's run away. Uh, Daniela, who's out here today, looking for any bumps, bruises. Uh, None so far, it looks like. Well, I'm, I'm meaning it in the nicest possible way. I hope she's not busy at all this afternoon. Yes. Here, here. Uh, dream team for staff relay. I'm going to go for Mr. C, our GAP student of two years now? Yes. Two years. Um, yes, rapid. That's number one. Stay tuned for the rest of the team. Oh, love a cliffhanger. Leave them wanting more. Okay. They are on the bench. These are the 800 metres finalists. They are getting into their positions. Olivia Smith with a very determined hand clap. Catriel with a dance. Tia with a gentle jog. Followed by Ola, Claudia, Lily Hanna, and Leah McKean. And Alice, I believe, has injured her leg. She, she oh. lasted the whole of the year six leadership trip. No injuries. And then she... She arrived home, and uh, I believe she was playing in her garden, and she hurt her leg. <sighs> what are the chances? Poor Alice. We hope you feel better soon, Alice. Dear five uh, boys and girls getting ready for the shot put there. That's a good we attempt there. Ably assisted by Roma in year eight. Okay, 800 event. meters, we girls final. They are into position. Event. Remember, the record is two minutes and 52 of your normal seconds normal seconds. Two minutes, 52. They're unstarter's orders. That's a shot putter. And there's and the gun the and they are off. Claudia's made a good start minus. there. She's leading the pack. And yeah. Lily Hannah's just edged around the right hand side of her. This should be a very good race. Starting quick. Lily Hanna has shot into a lead, but remember, it is two laps. So it's a battle of endurance, mental toughness as well as physical as well. I'm going to maintain that pace and close the gap with the person in front of them. 
Many congratulations, Tyler. Now, whilst it's fresh in my mind, alternative sports, you've got the hurdles, yeah? Yeah. What if we add uh, a limbo hurdle? So instead of jumping over, you are sprinting as fast as you can, and the, the limbo bar is getting lower and lower when you meet the next... But does that make sense? It's my back's hurting thinking about it, but yes, I like the idea. Now, Iola for the Saxons is going at a steady pace in the lead at the moment as she comes down. The first time she'll come down this home straight, followed by Claudia for the Britons. And some other year six girls going to the side of the track, giving their support. And Claudia in second, trying to close that gap to Iola in first. But Iola looks confident. She looks like she's got more to give. She's got a bounce in her step, hasn't she? She seems to be just bouncing around the track. Be interesting to see her switch on around that final bend. So this is the final lap for those year six girls as they go behind uh, the house tents very shortly as they cross over to the long jump. That breeze is picked up. That's Florence Ward for the long jump and Mr. C just checking their score. So the girls now behind that house tents Getting words of encouragement and support from the boys as they go around. Iola stretching out a bit of a lead. Fixing her hair as she goes round. So, record reminder is 2 minutes and 52 seconds. So, Iola at the moment out in front. That record set in 2013. Iola just rounding that top bend of the track. And then she'll start thinking about turning for home. Put on the afterburners. There's Natie Butler King in the long jump arena. She looks. And now she is switching on. I don't think there's much of a risk at the moment of her losing her place, but can she go for a record here? So she's go she's going for the record, which is two minutes and fifty-two seconds. She. And she has really broken sweat, Iola. This is fantastic running from her. She goes all the way to the end, pumping those arms. Iola Cairns for the Saxons will take first place. And Catriel, striding home for the Vikings, will claim second. Claudia for the Britons, running a fantastic race, will take third. And then we've got an Norman invasion. Tia for the Normans, followed by Aliha for the Normans, followed by Lily Hanna for the Normans, and then Olivia Smith for the Normans. Well done, girls. Fantastic racing. Hands on their heads, taking in that oxygen. Brilliant effort, everyone. And next, we have the Year 6 boys who will be lining up for their 800 metres. In lane one, we'll have a Luke Rourke for the Saxons. Uh, in lane two, we'll have a Zach Ford for the Britons. Lane three, Louis Mosley Davis, Saxon again. Lane four, Farron Elmalas for the Vikings. Lane five, Zach Collison, Vikings. Uh, lane six, Rufus for the Britons. Lane seven, Lucas for the Normans. Uh, and lane eight, Zach Stein for the Britons. And a bit of information about the record. The record was set in 2017 by an A hater. A hater? That sounds like something someone would write in to make us a hater. No haters here. Peace and love. Uh, and the record was two minutes, 46 seconds, and that's 40 milliseconds, Mr. Carter. 40 milliseconds. Ah, thank you. And they are prepared around that bendy, bendy start line that they use for the 800 meters, immediately able to break into that first lane. Um, I, we have just got a message in, and I don't want to read this. Can you confirm what this says, please? I, I will read it begrudgingly. It says. We love Mr. Carter, we do. We love Mr. Carter, we do. I'm really happy for you, sir. Thank you, Anonymous. I, I, that may well be Miss Robinson, who took the number of the phone before we started and was going to message throughout. So that could be her. But the boys are off. Anyway, in more important matters, the boys are off in their 800 metres final as they go around that first well, curve and then behind the house the tents shortly. I'm, I'm not leaving this alone. I'm, I'm looking at this number. It looks remarkably similar to your own phone number, sir. <laughs> I did see you bring your phone out earlier. Is that what you were doing when I was investigating for the high jump? I'm writing your own praise on the Twitter, on the, not even the Twitter, other other I'm social media websites are available. I'm a, I'm a professional, I would never do that. Anyway, the boys round in the top bend as they start to come round for the final straight 
for the end of their first lap. Remember, there are two laps in this race because it is 800 metres. 800 metres to Iola. Well done. Outstanding effort. And the first race of many, they'll be on the track later. And it looks like Barnaby Eden showing his support there, twizzling his hat around, jostling them forward. So, Farron Elmalas, who just told us he hated the track events, is currently in the lead in first place, followed by Zach Collison. Zach Collison, winner of the triathlon. Yeah, and then Louis Mosey Davis, who we spoke to earlier, in third, followed by Rufus in fourth, Luke Rourke in fifth, Zach Ford and six, Zach. Lucas Horst and Zachary Stein. Well done. So On we are here Zach. now. We're joined by the winner of the 800 meters final, Iola Kent. Iola, how are you feeling? Good. How was the race? It was very interesting. Yeah. Tired at all? You didn't look like you were tired? No. No. And uh, how are you feeling about the rest of the events? Good. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Iola. Good luck for the rest of the, uh, the day. So, the boys now have so oh, they've actually got a bit of a pace on now, and the, the leader is rounding the final bend, about to approach the last 100 metres or so, and I think it's a Farron Ilmanas, so again. It is a Farron. He did say he didn't like the events because of the nerves, so I don't think it was the case of he didn't like doing the events. I think it was the, the nerves and the, uh, the, you know, the apprehension beforehand, which I completely understand. Can Zach Collison respond? He's still got a bit of time. But it looks like Farron's got quite a bit of distance in front of him. That's about a 20 meter gap. This is a yeah, fantastic run in by Farron, who is striding home. Remember that record, two minutes, 46 seconds, 40 milliseconds. Farron crosses the line in first place for the Vikings. Zach Collison looks like he's going to bring up a second place for the Vikings. It's a Vikings 1-2. Uh, Louis Mosley Davis for the Saxons is coming in for third. A strong finish by Rufus for four. So well done, Rufus, for the Britons. Then we have Zach Ford for the Britons. Luke, maybe some... A stitch, possibly. He's got to keep going. Dig deep, Luke. Strong start. A strong finish from Lucas Hawes and Lucas Hawes and Zach Stein. Oh, Ooh. Zach Stein pips him to the post. But Lucas Hawes, good finish, boys. Well done. There's a definite technique for the 800. It looked like some people were choosing to start by kind of breaking away early. And others were kind of staying in that pack and looking to break away a bit later. Interesting. Oh, and a lovely message here. I'm going to let you read this one out. It was from Alex Long here. And uh, Mr. Carter, what does it say? He has um, been incredibly neutral and incredibly gracious. Thank you, uh, Alex Long. He said both commentators are amazing. And the rest of it says, but he prefers <laughs> Mr. Myers Allen. It doesn't say that. Sorry, Alex. I, I don't mean to misquote you there. He, both commentators are amazing. And... Um, I would say definitely one of them is. Over at the podium, we are saying it's our you, sir. It's you. Don't, <laughs> don't look at me like that. It's you. <laughs> okay. So that concludes the 800 metres final, and we move swiftly onto the 200 metre heat. Um, first up will be the Division 4 Year 6 200 metres. And so Miss Wilmington is taking them over there to, to get into their places. Um, I think we'll wait for the lane position mm. for now. We can have a look at some of these certificates being given out. We've got Zach Stein in third place. Alex T in second. And uh, Rufus D. Day in first. What event would that be for? What event is that for? Ball throw. That was for the for the ball throw there. Some keen cricketers up on that podium there. And we can see the year five high jump track, has we begun. Are saying our congratulations to year six boys, 800 meters, division one. Many congratulations in third place to Louis. And we see here going up on the podium, Louis. Boys, Coming straight off the 800 meter track to accept his certificate. And we've and got Zach 
Collison or Collison getting his certificate for second. And the winner, we spoke to him earlier, it's Farron. Well done, Farron. It's a Vikings 1-2. Brilliant racing, boys. We're actually joined right now by, by the kind of the uh, the organizer of this event uh, mr richards mr richards how do you feel the day is going so far uh, it's going really well thank you the children are performing really well working really hard uh, i won't stay long mr myers allen don't worry i'm a busy man um but we're just glad that it's not raining so far touch wood um but i'm really really impressed with all the children it's a lot of work to put in in one day We've, we've said it before, Mr. Richards, but a huge amount of credit needs to go to you and the rest of your sports team for putting on such an amazing event. So well done, Mr. Richards, and thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. No, thank you to all the staff who are helping out today. Mr. Deersley was a big help in the ball throw. I think he was trying to kick his, kick his son's ball over the line a bit further. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we did see that. We were trying to work out whether it was a disgruntled pupils trying to aim at you or whether or not you were actually helping out. We couldn't work out which one it was. Oh, both. He's, Mr. Deersley is saying both. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, that's a, look at that. I'm, I'm presuming that's a dog. Good hold there. Firm grip. It is a dog. A dog's heard us. It's turned around. Yes. <laughs> okay. Miss Robinson currently getting the pupils ready for their 200 metres. As we see, I think that's Isla Reid. Was it Isla Reid? That is a Saxon Isla Reid clearing that height there. Oh, unlucky B. That's an Etty. That's an Etty. Uh, here we go. Tommy Hodgson with the ball throw. Good flight on that shot put, though. Good jump there by Joshua Butler King. JBK. A jibuk. Okay, so we will start. We'll just go through the placings for Division 4, the girls' 200 metres. Lane 1 is vacant. It's free. It's available if anyone would like to join in. Lane 2 is a debt footer for the Saxons. Lane 3, B Isles for the Britons. Lane 4, also for the Britons, Sadie Bushel. Lane 5, Inaya Hafiz for the Saxons. And in lane 6, we've got a Lauren Bushel. What house is she for? She is for the Vikings. I'm trying to see if I can spot any Normans in this race. Does not look like there are any Normans in this race. But it being Division 4, it means there might be more Normans up in Division 3, Division 2, and maybe even Division 1. Uh, okay. There's still hope. Go Saxons. There are some mightily grey clouds hovering ominously above. Now, I might take this opportunity to drop down the mic and go and get myself some sort of rain clothing are you or an umbrella of, or some sort. Would that be an idea, Mr. Carter? Are you telling me you are literally going to mic drop right this minute? I'm going to mic drop and I'm going to bring back an umbrella or two. Would you like an umbrella just in case? Um, ye yes, please. I wouldn't say no to an umbrella. That would be fantastic. Thank you. No problem. I will be back with umbrellas. Okay. This is the best bit of waffle we've done all day. The umbrella chat. And this gives me a plenty of opportunity to send in lots of messages to the... No, no I won't. I won't. Don't I promise I won't. dare. But I can write some. That'll be... <laughs> right. Mic drop. <laughs> Okay, so we just looks like we're waiting for the high jump to start. Year seven helpers gearing up. Oh, here we go. Ooh, interesting technique, but he made it. Well done, Wilf. Okay, Mr. Myers Allen is going to get need to get a move on because I just felt a couple of drops of rain, and I'm going to get wet soon. I feel. Anyway, Division Four, girls, 200 meters.
They are ready to rock. They're ready to roll. Oh, a bit too ready. Lauren Bushell, strong stance. And they are off. Good start by Anaya and Lauren, it looks like there. And B on the inside as well. As they come around that top bend into the final 100 metres or so, who's going to emerge from behind that tree? It's neck and neck between Anaya and Lauren. It's going to be about endurance now for that final 50 metres towards the finish line. As you can see them coming down here, I think it looks like Anaya's just about in the lead. She needs to go all the way to the finish, remember? Anaya, Lauren in second place, and B Isles in third. Sadie will finish in fourth. And Adet is still striding down that track, doing fantastically well. Adet will uh, finish the race. Well done, Adet. Brilliant. Well done, Adet. Keep going. That concludes the Division 4 race. We will now move on to the Division 3 200 metres Year 6 girls. And uh, lane 1 again, vacant. Lane 2, Lucy Bull for the Normans. Lane 3, Tara for the Saxons. Lane 4, Zillia for the Britons. Lane 5, Pippa for the Vikings. And lane 6, Zoya for the Britons. And the girls are off. So remember, just rounding that top bend. And then it's a stride down that home straight. It looks like Pippa Gilby is striding out ahead, but we'll get a better idea as they round onto that straight. It's very blustery, as you can see from the pictures. Hopefully, the wind is propelling the girls in the right direction and not making it harder for them. Pippa striding out now, uh, followed by, it looks like, by Tara and then Zilia uh, and then Zoya. So, Pippa Gilby, last 10 metres to go. She's over the finish line. Pippa first for the Vikings. Tara second, Zillia third, and Zoya fourth. Well done, girls. We will then swiftly move over to Division 2, 200 metres. Lane 1, it is vacated. No, uh, no, 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 it is taken this time by Tamara for the Britons. Lane two, Maggie for the Saxons. Lane three, Alice Wilden for the Britons. Lane four, Luya for the Saxons. Lane five, Aliha for the Normans. Lane six, Naomi for the Saxons. Lane seven, Lily Whale for the Normans. So, no Vikings in this race. A couple of Britons, a few Saxons, and a couple of Normans. They are in position. It is gray, it's windy, it's wet, but spirits are still high. And there goes the gun. And they are off. Oh, some strong striding going on there. It looks like Naomi out the front, but Luya on the inside is coming through pretty quickly there for the Saxons. Where is Mr. Myers Allen with an umbrella? Because it is wet. Okay, the girls coming down that final 75 metres or so. You'll see them there past the parents who are braving the elements. Brolly's up. They don't care. Here goes Aliha McKeeve into first place. Followed closely by Naomi Hamilton for the Saxons. And Luya Lee in third place. Maggie Lund will bring up fourth for the Saxons. Tamara fifth. Lily Whale sixth. Well done to the girls. And the raindrops are getting heavier. I don't know if I've mentioned it. It's raining. Okay, so we will move on. We won't be deterred. The 200 metres, year six final in lane one. Lily Hanna for the Normans. Lane two, Claudia for the Britons. Lane three, Iola for the Saxons. Lane four, Catriel for the Vikings. Lane five, Tia for the Normans. Lane six, Kelsey for the Saxons. Lane seven, Olivia for the Normans. And lane eight was supposed to be Darcy. Unfortunately, um, she's not taking part, so she's at home. Darcy, if you're watching, I hope you are well. And the girls are off. It is raining very heavily. I'm getting very wet. It's fine. We are off. Miss Petz is looking very smug Miss under her umbrella. And the girls are coming down the last 75 meters. It's Catriel in the lead. Whilst commentating on 
Uh, Kedriel will take first place for the Vikings. Uh, Io and Tia. Mrs. Reed has very kindly just offered me her umbrella, but thankfully, thankfully, it's now easing. Oh, thank you very much. Look at this. Mr. Cairns has just bought his umbrella for me. Thank you. I'm being sheltered. A good race. Some cold and wet looking girls there. A very good race. You see that I think it's Catriel in first place. Iola in second, Tia in third, Kelsey fourth, Claudia fifth. And there we go, we break away now. Oh, Mr. Myers Allen has returned. Thank you very much. With umbrellas for the pair of us. He's got, uh, um, Mr. Myers Allen's got a very wet chair now. I didn't think about this and he's wearing chinos, khaki colour chinos. This is going to be interesting. But he's a consummate professional and no doubt he will soldier on regardless. Welcome back, Mr. Myers Allen. Thank you very much. You I started uh, running there. Didn't like to think about you out in the rain. And it's made me contemplate maybe doing a bit more fitness or including a bit more <laughs> running in my life. Hmm. The, uh, I don't know if the cameras can pick up the parents huddling underneath that tent on the left with a tree. You'll see that there are plenty of empty seats now and a lot of parents just huddling underneath a tree. Oh, we've now got a very soggy clipboard with the race timings and event. There you go, there are the parents, all sheltering. They look happy enough. I'm gonna to refer to my soggy clipboard. Oh my dear. And I've just sat down in that wet chair. That's quite an experience. Okay, our next event oh, will be the boys 200 meters. <laughs> Division three. In lane one will be Vigo Waitman for the Saxons. Are you back with us, Mr. Miles? I don't know, shall I go on without you? I'm back. Point to me, to the, the name I need to read. Lane two will not be Alex Lee, because uh, unfortunately he's not here today. Oh dear. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing we're going over to lane three, Oliver Ransom for the Saxons. Lane four, George Musgrave for the Vikings. Lane five, Edward Diarsley, Diarsley. Definitely Diarsley for the Vikings. Lane six, Rory McGavick for the Britons. And lane seven, Barnaby Eden Norman. Norman. We see some long jumpers there powering through in the wet sandy conditions. And there's a double third place for whatever certificate is just being given out. That's a Leha, that, Olivia. Is that sixth then? Double three? Double three? Do we add them together? No. I don't know. Mr. Richards just come across taking a photo of us, which will probably go on his TikTok later. He loves his TikTok. You can find his account at Nick Knock. No, no, that was a joke. He hasn't actually got an account. So, Miss Robinson getting the boys ready for the Division Three. Oh, there's Omar shaking his legs. Oh, that's unlucky, Luke Graves. It's going to be quite difficult, that map, I guess. Now quite wet and slippery. Mm. Might be the time to take you up on your offer of taking the mat away. And the boys are off for the Division 3, 200 metres. That's Barnaby in his cap. It's not sunny, but he's wearing it. Good fashion choice. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this... Is this... Is this an Oliver Ransom? No. A Vigo is striding out ahead. Oliver Ransom in his rain jacket, sensible... Sensible decision with the rain jacket. Vigo Waitman striding ahead for the Saxons. And the parents come into the front to show their support. Vigo, that is a comprehensive win for Vigo and the Saxons. Well done, Vigo. Second place, Ed Deersley. Well done, Edward. Third place, Rory McGavock. Fourth, George Musgrave. Fifth, Barnaby Eden in his baseball cap. Sixth. Oliver Ransom, well done, boys. Great job. And lining up now on the other side of the track is Division 2, 200 metres, which consists in lane one of Max Dinning for the Vikings. Uh, lane two, Nyan for the Britons. Lane three, Zachary Stein for the Britons. Lane four, Lucas for the Normans. Lane five, Alex T, Normans. 
Lane six, Henry Zhu, Normans. Lane seven, Hugh Crocker for the Vikings. So I was just trying to count how many Saxons are in this race. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's zero. It's, it's zero. I haven't said that. I've just seen how many are in the Division One. So Oh, Division One. Let's have a look. One, two, three. We, we should stop. Go, Saxons. Completely impartial commentary here at Hancross Park. Saxons. Over on the podium, we are saying congratulations to our Year 6 girls, 200 metre Division 3. Many congratulations in third place for New Zealand. Year 6, 200 metre certificates being handed out. In second place for our 200 metre Division third. 3. Miss Robinson has her green flag up, which signals that the race is about to start. I presume she's not trying to flag nearby planes in, in from Gatwick. A bit of a boogie up on the podium there from Tara and Zillia. Testing out the, the wet staging and Pippa for the 200 metres there. Well done, Pippa. I wouldn't call myself an umbrella connoisseur, but this umbrella you bought me is very good, actually. Thank you. Good coverage. I think that umbrella uh, was part of the purchase when I bought my camper van, Steve, who sadly is no longer with us. Been sold on. Obviously, part of him lives on with us now. Yeah. Steve, too, the umbrella. The boys. I mean, we've done a fair bit of waffle to this afternoon. That was up there. The boys are off. We'll wait for the movie of that bit of waffle. It's Division two. Year six boys. And in his jumper there, rolling up his sleeves, he means business. Alex T. In a, in a hoodie, rolling sleeves up whilst running. That is a new technique. Alex Tarateo straight up. He's closely followed by Lucas. Come on, Normans. Alex Tarateo, there's about 50 metres to go. He's striding a quick glance over his shoulder. It will be Alex Tarateo for the Normans first. Lucas Hall second. Zach Stein third. Nyan fourth. Hugh Crocker fifth. And Max Dilling crossing the finish line as well. Well done, boys. There's a dog on the track. It thinks it's all over. It's not yet. We've got plenty of fun this afternoon. Lots of coverage to film, to waffle over. And um, we have Division One lined up, as Mr. Carter mentioned earlier. Lots of Saxons in this. In lane one, we've got a Luke Rourke for the Saxons. Lane two, Louis Mosley Davis for the Saxons. Lane three, Rufus D. Day for the Britons. And as this plane flies overhead, lane four, Farron, who's previously won the 800 metres, now taking part in the 200 metres for the Vikings. Lane five, Zach Collison for the Vikings. Lane six, Tyler Yu, Normans. Lane seven, Zachary Ford, Britons. And I'm needing that last one for you, sir. Lane eight, Sam Trott for the Saxons. Sorry. Expertly done. Have you set the record for this? I have not. Over okay. to you. Okay, the record for this was set in 2014 by A. Emmons and was 28 seconds and 40 milliseconds as the boys round that top bend now into the final 100 metres or so. Farron striding out ahead. He's had a good afternoon so far. For someone that is not keen on track events, he's a track star, he's a runner. Tyler in second, Zach Collison third, Rufus fourth, Louis fifth, Zach Ford sixth, Sam Trott and Luke Rourke. Lots of Saxons in that race. Well done to the boys. And we will now, I believe that concludes the 200 metres. It does, so we can turn our soggy paper over to see what is next on our agenda. Oof, it's the 300 metres. The girls' final, final, dun dun dun. final, final. We do our own sound effects as well. Available for all parties and, and celebrations. Especially if it's a Saxon. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't do it. Here we go, the numbers on the screen. Remember to message in any messages of support, any questions you have, 
Any suggestions for future sports days? We want to hear from you. 07563 62396. Oh, and if you have your very own dream team for the Staff Relay event, we want to hear it. Who's starting us off? Who's who's finishing strong? Who are those middle two? Uh, four, four members of staff. Who, so, who would be in your dream team for the relay? As mentioned, my first one was Mr. C, a two-year gapper that's been here with us. I'm going to go with Miss Seaton for number two. Miss Seaton, I've seen her on the hockey pitch. Uh, I've seen her on the cricket pitch as well. Uh, she's got a bit of speed to her. Do you know who I throw a curveball out there for? Go for it, Sam. Now, Mr. O'Connor, who... I know he would say he couldn't because of his his injuries. Mm. I would, if it's a one-off, I'm strapping him up and he's doing it because he is fast. He is fast. Put a bit of duct tape around that shoulder. He's ready. Let me see Amelia Bjorn on top of the podium collecting her certificate. Barney in second place and Tamara in third. Well done, girls. Well done. So, we are... As Mr. Carter looks round the screen, he's looking to see if we are ready to start the 300 metres. It looks like we've got a little bit of time until we begin. But uh, shall we read out who's in uh, what lane and do some, some record waffle? Let's do some record waffle. You can begin the waffle. Waffle commencing. In lane one, there is no one. So please text in if you'd like to see any specific child or parent or member of staff in lane one. Lane two, though, is taken. No one's taking lane two away from Lily Whale of the Normans. At lane three, Iola for the Saxons. Lane four, Catriel Vikings. Lane five, Tia for the Normans. Lane six, Claudia Allison for the Britons. And lane seven, Maggie Lund for the Saxons record waffle uh, the the record for this the 300 meters year six girls was held by a k coles in 2015 and the time is 50 seconds point four. 20 seconds oh sorry 50 seconds point four we have a busy podium over here you might have just heard Miss Petz inform us that we have a busy podium. Something quite like a busy podium. Love the smell of a busy podium. In a Monday afternoon. Was that a scam? Was that a simile? A bit of alliteration. No. I tried. I think you were lost to cause. Don't lose hope in me, sir. Well done, That's a Zach Collison in third, Tyler Yu second place, and a Farron again, seeing a lot of Farron. He's having a very, very active sports day, and uh, he's got first place, another certificate to put up on his fridge at home. You're checking your phone, sir. You Do we have any messages in? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Oh, sorry. Just messaging your mum. And now we are saying our congratulations no? Sorry, to apologies. Year 5 girls shot but in third place. Many congratulations, B. That's Bobby well Zoo. Bobby Zoo, everyone. Oh, he's clapping himself. He obviously heard me. In second place for our Year 5 girls shot Bobby but Zoo. many congratulations, Any to eyes? Lexi. Here we go, he's down the track. Good lit. Oh, oh, and he's fallen backwards. What a mistake as a maker. That's taken a good 30 centimetres off his well jump done, there. He looked confident. And here we have some year five girls accepting some certificates. Third, B. Hogarth. Second, Lexi Ford. First, Tamara. Oh, breaking news. I can and see some blue Ms. sky behind us. Has our year sixes preparing for the 300 meters. We do our own sound effects. We didn't say we do them well, but we do them. <laughs> and still ongoing are some of our year five field events. That bar for the year five high jump almost looks as high as the year six high jump. 
I think that's a Kyle there, just eyeing up his run. But troubling conditions. But can he do it? Oh, that's unlucky. Unlucky, Kyle. I'm going to put it out there. Do you know who I'd add to my dream staff relay team? I'd go for Mr. Johnson. I've got the impression. I haven't seen him run, but I get the impression he's a good runner. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I would say so. I, I've got mental images of him now kind of just ripping off his tie and breaking into a sprint down the 100 metre track. That's really impressive. You're just saying that. I'm, I'm not. Thank you. Okay, there we see uh, this is Harry Hatcher on the ball through. Hey, there's, uh, there's Harry Ward. I spotted him on camera. I'm Harry, get back here. We need some information from you. Harry, Harry. On the year five high jump. Oh, it looks like Miss Robinson has got to see so the girls in position for the 300 metres final. Tyler got 9 to 5, came first. Etty was 90 centimetres second. Claudia got 18 for third. In the boys' competition, uh, really exciting at the end there. Kyle won it, uh, attempting 116, which is a really good height. And then we had uh, Salvador and Harry also doing really well uh, for their houses. So good competition. That, Excellent. I think, was Thank Mr. Clark on the mic. Very confident, and Kyle, one meter sixteen, I believe that was, if I'm remembering it correctly. One sixteen, nice. impressive. The sun is now out, which is pleasing. There's a Salvador getting ready to throw a bit of a twisty motion, and that ball's flown. Well done. Hands on his hips, inspecting. Bit of a practice before the next one, but he stepped over that mark. No one saw, no one saw. I'm sure that's fine. That is a race that has just begun. That is the girls 300 meters with the girls that we mentioned before. Lily Whale, Iola Cairns, Catriel, Tia, Claudia, and Maggie Lunn. Let's see how they get on. Your Catriel is flying at the moment. She's shot into the lead towards that first corner. And it's gonna be interesting from here but she's striding out that's quite a long leg stride she's got going around that top bend as she comes into the final straight from a 300 meters here there's a definite front three forming here and we've got iola and a britain that will be claudia competing for second all right this is this is going to be a fast time for catriel k coles did it in 50.4 seconds but catriel is striding across the finish line. First place, well done, Catriel. Second Iola. place there for Iola. Claudia. Claudia coming in third. Apologies for interrupting you there, sir. No, sorry, my apologies. And it looks like we've got a Lily Whale who's going to be coming fourth. Lily looks across Maggie. to the audience. In they love it. The Maggie confidently across the line. Effort. Well done. Okay, so the girls just having a bit of a breather there on the bench. Evans just making sure they're all right. And we will shortly have the boys' 300 metres final. The record was set in 2017 by Callum Lindsay and was 49.8 seconds. So, lane one for that final is Sam Trott for the Saxons. Lane two will be Zach Ford for the Britons. Lane three, Tyler Yu for the Normans. Lane four, Farron Elmalas for the Vikings. Lane five, Zach Collison for the Vikings. Lane six, Louis for the Saxons. Lane seven, Luke Walk for the Saxons. And lane eight, Zachary Stein for the Britons. As the boys have already started and they are approaching the first bend, the only bend they're going to go around at the top of the track. And it looks like Farron again is striding into the lead. He rounds that final corner into the straight. Yeah. 
and Farron there again. Not enjoying his track events, but doing really well in them. It looks like he's enjoying them. Farron finishes the line. Zach Collison in second place. Tyler in third. Louis in fourth. Zach Ford in fifth. It's going to be tight here. Ooh, it's going to be Saxon tight. Saxon Saxon. Luke sixth. Sam seventh. Zach Ooh. Stein eighth, I think, potentially. But we might have to go to the RLT. The Rolt. And we will now be moving on. We have concluded the 300 meters. And now we are on the shorter distance. We are on 100 meters. We're going to start off with the girls. Over at the podium with me. We that looks like a Ewan Doherty just inspecting his jump into the long jump. Finalist. Well done, Ewan. Would you like to know uh, Ewan's nickname? Final. Tell me. In, in my maths class, his nickname is EB1 Kenobi. EB1, E1, E, e, e B1 Kenobi. Star Wars. Okay. Oh, okay. thank you. Very good. You, you love a nickname, don't you? I do. And Iola there getting her certificate for second place and there for the 300 meters. 300 meters to Catriel. Well done. Catriel. Getting a lovely round of applause there. Not their first a certificate. Race, not their last race. Still got lots to give. And Miss Robinson making her way over to the starting line for the 100 metres as we watch a bit more of uh, some field events, some long jump, some high jump, some more certificates. parents really avoiding those seats. I've had to take my jumper off and wipe mine down. I feel much more comfortable now. Looking very smart, Mr. Wilder. Thank you very much. I feel like we're epitomizing a smart casual dress code. It's like a sitcom. I'm smart, you're casual. <laughs> and together we solve crimes. Sports day related crimes. I'm called casual smart. No, hang on. Okay, so Miss Robinson there. <laughs> it looks like she's, I don't know, just looking at her, her documents with a year seven help. I can't quite work out who the year seven is there. Who is that? Oh, it's a Thomas Rourke. A Thomas Rourke. And they are getting the 100 meters competitors in order which is harder than it sounds, actually. It's like herding cats, but they're there. All the cats are there, ready to run. Like cats do, gambling responsibly through a field. Yeah, like gambling, as in running, like lambs gamble. They do it responsibly. Congratulations to our Year 6 boys 300 meter finalists. Again, having competed in their PE the lessons to gain out. a place in the final. So huge congratulations for third place to Tyler. Oh, well done, there we Tyler. see. Oh, hang on a minute. Get the judges in. Hang on a minute. Is this allowed? What? Marowams. Other sweets are available, but this surely is a boost of energy for some of the pupils. I feel like we need to confiscate and inspect and in contents. There's a little, well, hang on a minute. This is not on at all. Now, if we see any extraordinarily massive jumps or throws from those pupils today, we'll know why, other than their massive talent, the sweets that they have been given. I can see them. They're there. We need to get a sweet. Oh, is that They're what's there. going through your mind? We need one. They no, can't no, just have one. No. We need a sweet. No. Well, it would there, be there nice. it is. There, no, oh, that it is. Oh, that's... Now, uh, interesting. I, he's taken the whole wrapper off, and now he's holding that Mauam. Just pure sweet. I would keep half of the... Is that my OCD coming out here? No, I, I agree with you. I would, I would 
keep my kind of so fingers off sixes. the pure sweets and I would hold by the wrapper. Sixes, uh, down with Good bit of waffle. Robinson. We'll move on. And please, the numbers on the on the screen, on. just as this and is absolutely amazing. We've got a Ewan Doherty coming up to us, EB1 Kenobi. We, we were telling him off for having Thank sweets you, in Ewan. school, but Thank now that he's giving them to us, it's absolutely fine. Yes, Ewan, sweets. we hope you do absolutely brilliantly today. Have you finished your events? Um, yeah, I came third in two of them. Third in two of them, and those uh, events were? Um, they were both running. Both well running. Absolutely brilliant. What what sweet uh, in that Malwan packet other sweets are available? Did, what flavour did you go for straight away? They are joysticks. And um, sorry to all the vegans out there because these are not vegan. It's an interesting tip. I'm Mr. Carter try, reaching in. Flavors. Thank you. A swap is being made. Thank you very much, Ewan. Thank you, Ewan. Bye. Goodbye. The diet of athletes there. I got a raspberry one. Let's take it in turns. You can eat yours and I'll waffle and then we'll switch. Okay. I'm going first, yeah? Okay, I'm going to describe it. Using similes, alliterations and metaphors. Okay, so the excitement building as we see Miss Robinson there on the walkie-talkie, on the comms. I presume she's, she's communicating something about the sports day. Anyway, she's getting them all. There is, to be joking aside, there's a huge amount of organisation that goes into putting on these sports days from the kind of heats that are run and participated in during PE lessons from the sports team to also making sure who's in what lay, that everyone's participating, getting the pupils' choices for their field events. There's a, a lot of work goes on behind the scenes. I know we've said well done to Mr. Richards already, but yeah, Miss Robinson, Mr. Richards, Mr. Evans, and of course the rest of the games department uh, have done a tremendous job. So well done. I've uh, had the first bite of that raspberry Malwam, and I would like to say that it was tasty as a tarantula's toothpaste. Love that. Yeah? Yeah, no, that is, that's very good. Yeah? Tasty as a tarantula's toothpaste. Alliteration and a simile all in one go. Yeah. That's, that's we well, don't know that tarantulas don't use toothpaste. This is We're true. We're not biologists. Maths and English over here. Maths and English, yeah. Would you like to try yours? Well, I'm happy for you to continue yours as we watch Bobby Zoo launch a ball high in the, not at the lawnmower, as we can see Wizard in the background. He's throwing the ball. But on Bobby. Second bite commencing. He's been quite heavily involved, Bobby Zoo, in the sports though. I feel like he's, you know, the running races, he was always in or around the front. And now performing well during the, the, the ball throw. And we have, who do we have there? A Kyle Zhang for the Normans. He's taken a bit of a run up for the ball throw. That looks, that looks like a very good... If that stayed inbound, which I think it has by the looks of it, that's a very good attempt. So, still waiting for the 100 metres to get started. That's fine. Should we have a run-through of who's going to be in what lane in preparation? We can. Lane one is free. Lane one is three. Lane one is free, i.e. there's oh, no one free, there. Oh, free, as in yes. available. As in available, sorry. Let's just be really clear for the audience at home, sir. Uh, lane two is also available. Lane three is occupied by a Dutch footer from the Saxons. Lane four also occupied Lucy Ball Normans. Lane four. Five. Lane five, Sadie Bushel from the Britons. Lane four, six. It's Inaya Hafiz for the Saxons. Lane seven is vacant. Lane eight, also, it's come up wanting. Over to you. Now, Mr. Carter has taken, he's been brave. He's gone for the whole Malwan in one go. We are saying our congratulations Mr. Brown to phoning into our hotline here. Pick up the phone, sir. What's he saying? No. Hello, Mr. Brown. Yes. No, I'm, I'm having a lovely day, thank you. I'm doing sports day. <laughs> Yeah, no, the sun's out now, it's fine. The boys are off, the girls, sorry, are off on the 100 metres, Division 4. Interrupting our excellent waffle, going into this 100 metre race. Fleece on, Inaya looking over her left shoulder, Sadie hunting her down. 
breaking the line. We have our year six girls. And arms up in celebration, Inaya, Sadie, and then Odette Futter there. Just to be really clear, that was not Mr. Brown phoning us. That was me doing comedy sound effects. I mean, I guess uh, calling them comedy sound effects, it's up to your opinions at home whether they were comedy. Let's just call them sound effects. You may have found them funny. And uh, the second race of the 100 meters, Division 3, Maggie Lunn in lane two, Saxon, Tamara, Lane three, Viking. Lane four, Zoya, Britain. Lane five, Zillia, Britain. Lane six, Lily Whale, Norman. And lastly, lane seven, Lauren Bushel, Viking. Now, as they're setting up here, I'm looking down to the division one list and I can see a record that was set in 2015, a name that we've mentioned previously, Kay Coles. Kay Coles holding the record for the year six 100 meters at a time of 14 seconds, 0.2, which is absolutely staggering. I can't get in my head. They're year six and they're getting 14 seconds across that 100 meter line. Oh, and it sounds like, hey, was that a gun? We are our no, it wasn't. I thought I heard the starter's gun. How was that Malwam, sir? Well it was superb, actually. The sun's come out. I've just had a cola Malwam. Life couldn't be much better. I'm going for a final bite of my Malam. I did not do it all in one like you. I've gone for three separate bites. Okay, so they are off the Division 3, 100 metres. As I can see them bombing down the track now, about 75 metres still to come. It looks like Lauren Bushel on this near lane striding out using her arms pump Maggie Lunn from the Saxons and Zillia chasing her down Lauren Bushel will be first Maggie Lunn and then Zillia I think but we will go to Raceline Technology that's what it's there for Rult RLT RLT that looks close indeed but I think you see here Lauren Bushel pump it she's striding out there Lauren Bushel definitely first Oh, I think Maggie Lan and then Zillia, but again, the angle we're on, it's going to be very tight. Let's see how they've sat them. Oh, actually, they've sat them. Lauren, then Zillia, then Maggie, which might indicate that Raceline Technology... It does look like Mr. Evans is... was looking very closely at the iPad. Um, next, lining up is the Division 2 race, Lane 1. We've got a B Isles for Britons. Lane 2, we've got Alice Wilden for the Britons. Lane 3, it's a Saxon, it's Lou Lee. Lane 4 for the Normans, Elihan McKean. Lane 5, Naomi Hamilton, Saxon. Lane 6, Pippa Gilby for the Vikings. Lane 7, Tara for the Saxons as well. They're still standing. That's a yes, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to congratulate you here. We'll see those of you at home probably are aware we had the recent House Song Competition. Oh, stop it. Which the Saxons triumphed in and, and won, and deservedly so. I thought the, the, the performance and the choreography was exemplary. Well done, sir. That's very, very kind of you, sir. Normans did absolutely brilliantly as well, as did all the houses. It was a great event, and the race is off. Look, I, I've got to say, we'll, we'll, we'll let the race finish and then I'm going to comment on, you'll see Alice there, just going out on the picture of the screen. But So Naomi Hamilton finishes first, Aliha second, Luya third. Now, I just want to say, everyone who participates in every event in this sports day picks up points for their houses. And you mentioned it earlier, Mr. Myers-Allen, that Alice has injured herself. However, you will see her in a minute. She is still participating in this event. She is walking down the track. She's hobbling. She's obviously got an injury. But she's going to finish the race with a help in hand from B to pick up points for her house. That's brilliant. That's really superb to see. So well done, Alice, for picking up what could be valuable points for your house. That was lovely to see. Really nice. Well done. And well done, B, for going down to help her as well. So we move on to the girls' 100 metres final. As Mr. Myers Allen's already said, the record is 14.2 seconds. So in lane one for the Normans, we have Lily Hanna. Lane two, Claudia Allison. Lane three for the Normans, Tia Yu. Lane four, Catriel, Vikings. Lane five for the Saxons, Iola. 
Lane six, Kelsey Saxon. Uh, lane seven will be vacant. That would have been Darcy, but she is uh, injured, so she's at home. And lane eight, Olivia Smith for the Normand. Here you can see Olivia Smith. There is Kelsey getting composed. Iola's in position. <gasps> Catriel, Tia, Claudia, and Lily. And they're off. Faces of determination. My word, look at we go. We hear a parent that's shouting Mr. go, go, go record. That's oh, no. Mr. Brown Mr. that was. Mr. Brown, my word. Catriel. Catriel, then Iola, and then Kelsey. Oh. That was quick. Catriel is quick. Wow, we. We need someone on that, on the timing. I see a Toyosi. I'm going to try and nab a Toyosi to help us out. You go and find a Toyosi whilst I talk us through. Uh, the boys, Division 3, 100 metres. So, Division 3, they will be lining up shortly. Uh, lane 1 is currently vacant. Lane 2 will be taken, occupied by Vigo Waitman from Saxons. Lane 3 will also be vacant. Was supposed to be for Alex Lee, but unfortunately he's not here today. Lane 4, Max Dinning for the Vikings. Lane 5, George Musgrave for the Vikings. Lane 6, Ollie Ransom for the Saxons. And Lane 7, Barnaby Eden for the Normans. As you can see them get into position there, there's Barnaby. Mr. Myers Allen, you're back. I'm back with some information. Um, Catriel, yes. 15 seconds. And I think the previous record was 14.2. So we're not far off. 0 0.8 of a second. 14.2 must have been scarily quick. Catriel looked like she was flying there, but that, yeah, not quite a record, but well done, Catriel. So, we've gone through the lanes. Gone through the lanes. Yep. We're ready to rock. We're ready to roll. No Britons in this race. Full start from the boys. No Britons in this race. No, we've got Saxon, Saxon, Viking, Viking, Norman, Norman. Well, only one Norman. Alex Lee, unfortunately, is not competing. Oh, dear. I know. Alex, if you're watching at home, peace and love. Send in. And they are off. As they hurtle down the first 25 metres or so, they'll shortly be coming past the parents where the support and encouragement will give them a lift for the final 50 metres. You can see the hands clapping exuberantly as the pupils power on past. Vigo Waitman will cross the line first place. George Musgrave in second. Max Dinning in third, touching the bunting. Ollie Ransom and then Barnaby Eden. I feel, Mr. Myers Allen, we should move on very quickly to Division 2, because it will come around quick. You know what Miss Robinson's like? Go for it. Lane 1, Rory McGavock. Uh, lane 2 for the Normans, Alex Tarateo. Lane 3, Luke Rock for the Saxons. Lane 4, representing the Vikings, Edward Dearsley. Lane 5, Samuel Trout Trot. Sam that's my nickname for him. Samuel Trot, Saxons. Apologies. Lane 6 for the Britons, Zachary Stein. Lane 7, Hugh Crocker, Vikings. I can't go as deep as you. Lane 8 for the Britons, Nyan Keats Rastogi. That is impressive. It's a misspent youth of watching NBA on Channel 4 when I was growing up. That kind of gives an indication of how old I am. Okay, so. That was my attempt of. Division same. 2. Now, this could be interesting, particularly if Zach Stein and Edward Deersley are quite close, because I've just spotted Mrs. Stein stood next to Mrs. Deersley. So if it's a close race, we're going to keep it on the parents and see uh, how that develops. Let's see what happens. So the boys are at the start line. Luke just testing the waters by putting his foot over the line. We see you, Luke. We see you. Alex T looking very confident there, hands on his hips. Now he's in his ready pose. That is over 45 degrees, and they are off. Only for 45 to get that is hot. It's they are, oh, it, this looks like a Zach Stein is flying down. I think it's going to be. Oh, is that an Alex Tarateo? Alex T, followed Sam by Sam, Sam Luke, then Zachary Stein. Didn't catch those last couple. Alex T for the Normans. Sam Trot coming through for the Saxons there. Great race. Very good race, yeah. Looking at this, there's this this might be me picking on tiny little details, but is it having an effect? The way they pump their arms. Are their hands 
flat, cutting through the air, or are they going for power? Balled up fists. Goo, 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 goo. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Is I'll it going to have much of an effect? I don't know. We need Miss Newton, or Miss Ledden, or Mr. Clark. Anyone but us. Anyone but us. Right, we will jump across now for the 100 metres boys final, which promises to be a quick affair. Now, their record was set in 2018 by James Templer Earl, and that was, again, remarkably quick. Thir obviously, because it's a record. 13.58 seconds. Uh, in lane one, we have Henry Zhu for the Normans. Lane two, Louis Mosley-Davis, Saxons. Lane three, Tyler Yu for the Normans. Lane four, Farron Elmalaz for the Vikings. He hates track. Lane five, Zach Collison for the Vikings. Lane six, Rufus D. Day, Britons. Lane seven, Lucas Halls for the Normans. Lane eight, Zachary Ford. And they are already off before we finished listing their names. Here we go. And it looks like we've got Tyler and Farron battling it out for first place. Farron looks like he's just about pulling away towards the finish line, but it's going to be close. Ooh. For first and for third, that race was tight. It was very tight. I do not envy Mr. Evans, his race line technology, or his minions helping him. We're going to have to throw it over to Rult. We will wait for the official footage. Here we go. Let's have a look. This is purely just our opinion. But that's definitely Farron followed by a Tyler. But then watch the bottom in the middle here. We've got Rufus against... Who is that? Is Zach Collison. I think it's Rufus. Rufus crossing. And then Zach. And then it's going to be a Louis. And it's, oh, Louis, so, Louis, yeah. Then Zach Ford. And then Lucas for the Normans. Great Close. race. Very, very good race. So that concludes our, our track events... Uh, that are not relay. A relay is a track event. Yes, yeah, they're, they're on a track. It's on a track. I mean, technically, it's on a field as well, but it is a track event. Yes. Yeah. So yes, there'll, there'll probably be a brief interlude. Um, unfortunately, for you guys, that means we're probably going to waffle on for a bit, but that's fine. I still have some staff to mention for my. Uh, oh, go on. Relay. Here we go. I've done Mr. C. Yep. I've done Miss Seaton. So yep. Now, I, I'm going to go the man on the mic right now, Mr. Richards. He's very talented. He's talented at all the sports, all of all of the sports. And I think if he's on a on a really good day, he's got some power in him. He's 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 sailing as I'll put him in the third position of the relay. If he has his Weetabix, yeah, I, I can see that. Mm. Did I just hear him say on the microphone there might have been a record broken? Because I heard there's a lot of oohs. Ooh. I didn't quite catch that. But maybe you need to send a runner. Let's send someone. Keep my eye open for a people wandering by. Listen, pretty dutty baseline going on here. What does that mean? It's heavy. Heavy. We've just had some lovely compliments from parents saying how hard we're working. So thank you very much to the parents for all your support and encouragement. It was definitely about our hard work, wasn't it? And uh, the number again that you need to text uh, into, if you like, is up on the screen. We want to hear from you. Who are your top four staff relay people? But I'm interrupting myself. Yeah, or if you would like to uh, maybe ident nominate someone you think has been a star this afternoon at Sports Day, who's impressed you the most, who's shown good sportsmanship, good perseverance, good resilience, all those kind of skills that we like to encompass here at Life at Hancross Park. Who would you nominate? We want to know. I say hip hip hooray. It's uh, another Sports Day. Flow. Got bars, sir. Uh. So, I'm, I'm 
Oh. Got a Max Jennings. I'm going to give him a mission no. for doing a bit of a run. Hang on. You've spotted a caramel wafer in his hand. We have. So, um, we're going to ask you, Max, is this the diet of athletes? No, it's not the diet of athletes, but I don't aspire to be a runner, so... You, I, what, I, I think I know the answer to this. What is your favourite sport? Rugby. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. He's a rugby man. He's fearless. I've seen him. I've coached him. He's a fearless rugby player. Will dive at anything, literally anything or anyone. Despite being a, a rugby boy, he's a very keen wicket keeper as well. Very confident. Very low, stable position. Very good at diving as well. Um, Shall we send Max off to get some information? There might have been a record broken. Max, would you like to do a job for us, please? He's going to do it. We'll, come, we'll come back later with Max's record update. Change of beat. Can they hear this music? I think they can. The pupils making their way across the track. Yes, they're coming back. They're going to get in to the houses and they're going to run as fast as mouses. Plural, mice. Meese. Moose. So the pupils are coming across the track um, to get into position for their relay. Max Dinning is coming back, waving, waggling his finger at us. No record. We saw that on camera as well. He, he wagged his finger at us saying, nope, no record has been broken. We, we, we assume he was waggling to say no record. He might have been waggling to say, please stop rapping. Stop rapping, Mr. Carter. It's, it's uncouth. You're embarrassing yourself live on TV. Don't flatter yourself. This is uh, YouTube, sir. We're not TV yet. I, I, I was thinking this over lunch. Does this officially make us YouTubers? Wow, we. So you know, you know when you talk to the children, the, the children, the pupils, and you say like, "Oh, what do you want? I want to be a YouTuber." It's quite a big thing these days, isn't it? The youth love YouTube. The, the youth do love YouTube. So does this mean that technically we are YouTubers? I would say we are now YouTubers, but we do need to take this camera crew around with us everywhere we go. Otherwise, we've got no show. Yeah. So a big shout out to all the, the, the cameramen, camera women, the people in the van doing all the sound and pointing the camera right back here, right on this head. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers, thank mate. You. That's the name of the company. I'm not just saying cheers. They're called Cheers Mate Production. So thank you very much thank you very for much. facilitating this sports day and for letting us live out our childhood dreams of being YouTubers. Was YouTube around when you were a child? Uh, sorry? I retract the question. The look on your face says yes, it all. But yes, but only on dial-up. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, get off the phone. <laughs> okay, uh, the, Mr. Evans sorting the houses out into their lines. Hang on, right, so hang on a minute. Look how long the Saxon's line is. No wonder, no, what, hang on. I, I don't think that's a, a strong thing to have lots of people in your line. I think the idea is to win first and the fewer people you have in your line, the, the quicker your team's going to be. The flag wavers practicing waving their flags there. It's like that Shakira song, Wave Your Flag. You I don't know, know it. Sing it to me. No, she gives instructions on how to do it. So she effectively says like, you know, wave your flag, so wave your flag. Wave your flag. When I get older, I will be stronger. They call me freedom, just like a waving flag. And that's what they're doing. They're waving their flag. Thank you, Shakira. Yeah, shout out to Shakira here. If you're listening, please text in. The number is on the screen. Which, uh, which presenter do you like better? It's Mr. Carter, head of the Normans. <laughs> Mr. Myers Allen, head of the Saxons. We are zooming in on the, the lineup for the Vikings race. We've got oh, Katrina, oh, Farron, Tamara, Edward, George. I think that's a Zach Collison and a Lucas, Amelia, Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, Ewan, Max, still having his caramel wafer. Hugh, Lauren, that's a Pippa Gilby, a Daisy, a Seb Pote, a Luke Graves, Jad, Nakuzi. Ooh, that's a Wilf Clary. 
and a Tamara. I did pretty well on the names there. You did very well for the Vikings. Now we're moving on to the Saxons. My turn. Iola Cairns at the back. Louis Mosley Davis. Bobby Zoo. Alex LD. We've got a Kelsey there. We've got a Naomi Hamilton. A Vigo Waitman. A Connie Lunn. A Scott Colborne. Tara. Maggie. They're speeding up. Luke Rourke. Oliver Ransom. <laughs> Sam Trott. Musa Shah. Anaya. Adet. Luya Lee. Ida Reid. Oh, Nabani and Toyosi. Well done. Gone Saxons. Okay, my turn. Here we go. We've got a Tommy Hodgson, a Richard Meller, Diogo. We've got a Leha. I believe that's Olivia Smythe. Lily Hanna, Lily Whale, Kyle, Leon, Etty, B. Hogarth, Omar, Lacau, Barnaby, Lucas, and who just stood up? Thank you, camera man <laughs> slash and or woman. <laughs> it is Alex T there. Or woman. Retracted. Tyler U, T U, Olivia Smith. Oh, Britons, we're on. Claudia Alice. Oh, I can't see who's in the games kit right at the front. It's in the leg. That's, that's a Rufus. I recognize the trainers. Rufus. Uh, yeah, Rufus, Claudia, Harry Hatcher, Lexi Ford, Zach Stein, Claudia. Oh my goodness. That's a Noah Freeman behind, uh, and a Q Watkin, and a Nyan, and a Zilia Wellinghoff, and a B Isles. This is hard. It's like being on Safari. Zoya. Um, we've then got Manan. We've then got a Salvador. We've then got lying down Rory McGavock. Is that Florence C.A.? Florence C.A. And Zach Ford. Oh. Digging for worms. That was quite stressful, actually. Yeah. Pressure's on. Saxon's ah. definitely. Ah. Daniela giving a fly pass there. First aid. We don't do second aid here at Hand Cross. It's first aid all the way. Look, oh, those, how's that? Look at this. Sorry, I'm, think, I'm translating this into be true points. And look at the Vikings and the Saxons compared to my Norman army. Well, I would say to counter that, the Britons are currently in second place. I believe the current order is Saxons, Britons, Vikings, then Normans. So I think if you're making excuses, make better ones. No excuses for me. Okay. We're a proud house. And uh, some press-ups going on here. Now, Alan did this at the lower school sports day as well. It was not caught on camera, but whilst the relay was taking place, he was doing a couple of press-ups on the sideline. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Good range. Six. Yep. It's a seven. Seven. We're stopping at seven, but he did do some more before I started counting. Okay, houses are on their feet. They started. They're on their feet. Now, how does this work, Mr. Carter? So, what happens is the pupils are in their houses in different lanes. The flag bearers down the far end of the track will have the flags raised. They will drop the flags. When they drop the flags, you may commence your running or fast walking, depending on what you're doing. You will run down the track as fast as you can to the other, to the end. The flag bearer will then indicate with their flag when it's safe and correct for the next person in the team to go. And, oh, hang on, and we're off. I believe we're off. So this is going to be a Some bit hectic. fast runners to start with. Catrille, Toyosi, Tia, Rufa starting off. So some pupils will need to go twice. You'll see there on your screen, some of the pupils will be looping back round again to join their houses again. This will be a bit chaotic, and I think we're just going to have to keep an eye on. That was Farron, Tyler, Claudia, Barney. Go on, Olivia Smith for the Normans. So Olivia, Harry, Tamara, Isla. Oh, Britons now. Zach Ford, that's a strong leg from Zach Ford. Edward finishing for the Vikings there. Oh Luya for the Saxons. Goodness, who's this? Britain's doing well. Lexi Ford again. They've started well. Can they maintain this pace? Adet doing well there for the Saxons. Well done, Odette. Doing us proud. Oh, Tommy pulling it back for the Normans. Collison also making up some ground there. Inaya for the Saxons. Noah Freeman and Richard Miller. Richard Miller nearly losing his footing, but just managing to maintain it. Natey checking behind him. 
Musa Shah doing a good stint here. Hugh Watkin, Diogo Costa. I believe the order is Britain's Normans, Viking Saxons currently. Amelia Bjorn doing strongly there. Ah, this is getting close now. This is what we like. That's what sports is all about. That's Oliver Ransom, Lily Whale, Zillia for the Britons. The so recap, you, you believe Britons are in first place at the moment, is that correct? I believe it is Britain's Normans, and it, I think it's then Viking Saxons. So Saxons have... almost being lapped. I think it's happened. Kyle Zhang for the Normans, finishing nicely. Who have we got coming up here? Uh, that's uh, Lauren Bushell. We recognize that technique, streamlined. Man and a treasure coming, Leon, Maggie Lund, across the finish line. That's a Pippa Gilby. Salvador there with a Scott and a Lucas. That was pretty neck and neck. Neck and neck, head to head, toe to toe. Connie Lan, Omar. How many more have we got to come? Not that many. So, Seb Pote crosses for the Vikings. Florence Kluska, Artemis, and a Vigo unlapping for the Saxons. Go on, Barnaby. Hat still on. Tamara finishing her stint. Zach Stein crossing for the Britons. Here we go. B Hogarth for the Normans. Well done, B. Luke Graves, that's a strong finish. Claudia Addison, Naomi Hamilton. Tyler again for his second. That's a Harry Hatcher, it looks like. Are we and the Britons line looking very empty here. They're doing really well. So do we think the Britons are on to... Oh, the Britons, uh, Britons have got one more, have they? One more, I think. One that means they're doing well. Roof, uh, Roof has just crossed Bobby Zoo, trying to pull it back for a second. This looks like it's the last Briton, and it looks like Lexi Ford is going to... Britons have won the relay. Tia Yu looks like second for the Normans. Yep. I think the order there is clear. Britons, Normans. Vikings, Saxons. There we go. Is it double points in the relay or am I making that up? I'm not too sure. Is this relay adding to the points or is this kind of a fun token ending? I think it adds to the points. I think it does count. I think, I think here it might say something. I've heard that if you come, if you come second, you actually get more points. So what are Normans? No, I'm joking. Oh, and uh, we're taking this opportunity to hand out some more certificates. Mr. Brown's out there holding those lovely white certificates, which will be pinned up on fridges and bedroom walls for years to come. Salvador in third place for year five boy shot put. I've got to say well done to the parents for the wonderful array of dogs we've seen on show today. Some lovely looking dogs around here. Oh my goodness, here we have some huh? young spectators. Young spectators, would you like a quick word on the, on the mic or not? We've got two young poats cheering on their brother and we've got a young hatcher. Are you enjoying yourselves? Hello. 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 Are you having a nice time at sports day? <laughs> yes. What do you think of Seb's performance? Good. Good, very good. And you, young hatcher, how do you think Harry's done? Good. Good. Yeah. Do you approve? Out of ten, how would you rate Harry's performance? Nine. Nine out of ten. Room for very good. Room, room for improvement, but I think that's a high score. Thank you very much, young Poets, young Hatcher. Thank you. So these are actually stars of the future we're seeing. These are young athletes who, in a few years' time, will be competing in the middle school sports day themselves. Breaking records. Record breakers. Now, when you said uh, you commented on the dogs. Yes, I did. That's given me an idea for an alternative Relay sport team. for sports day. Go on. You know, in Crufts, they have the dog agility. Yep. What if we had pupil agility? We had the ramps, we have the seesaws. Parkour. <laughs> pupil parkour. Now, let's go back to what really matters here. Not our waffle, but the pupil's excellent achievements today. Uh, we've got third place there, Wilf, second place, Manan, and first place, 
Harry yeah, Hatcher. Well done, Nine out of ten for Harry Hatcher uh, from his brother there. Oh. And thank you so much We're going to be quiet there. and hope you can it's hear Mr. Richards. Glorious at times, but absolutely chucked it down at times. Uh, but I'm really, really pleased we all got through it. Um, I want to start with a huge well done to the children. Um, you've had a really, really busy afternoon, guys. So a huge well done for all of you for giving your maximum effort in every single race and event. Uh, so a big round of applause, please, for all the children. And a huge round of applause there for the pupils' efforts today. Some of them running in all four track events. Uh, I'd also like to say a huge thank you for a big event like this. Um, and we do three of these over the course of a week. Uh, for all the staff, uh, for all the Year 7 helpers, uh, and a commentary team down there, and all the different the people around. Uh, so a huge thank you from me, and well done, everybody. So thank you to all the staff. Well done, Mr. Marzellan. Well done, Mr. Carter. It's been a pleasure working and with you. Finally, to the parents, thank you for coming out to support today. Those of you watching along at home, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure um, we've provided excellent entertainment with Mr. Carter and Mr. Marzellan. Uh, but thank you so much for watching along and coming out today. And thank you to our Cheers Mate production team for filming the events. And that will be available later to watch on YouTube. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, production team. Now, as Miss Pets has been mentioned throughout the day, all of the children have been earning points uh, individually, but also towards their house. So every single event is counting, um, and it's a really nice competition in that sense that everyone is contributing. Uh, I'm going to present the individual prizes first before going on to the overall prizes. So, starting with the under 10 girls, if you'd like to come up when I say your name. In third place, Toyosi Akinola. The third place individual prizes was Toyosi. Well done, Toyosi. Second place. Amelia Bjorn. Oh, one point more. It's so a very close indeed. Amelia Bjorn. Well done, Amelia. Saxon followed by Viking. And in first place, Lexi Ford. Lexi Ford. Yeah, record breaker today. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Well done, girls. No, fantastic. Really good afternoon. Good racing. Well done, girls. Good spread of houses there. In third place. Alex Eldeeb. Third place then for the boys. Alex Eldeeb for the Saxons. So year five second boys. Place, second place. Will Clary. Well done, Will. Vikings. And in first place, Bobby Zhu. And Bobby Zhu, first place. Him and Alex Eldeeb spent most of the afternoon battling each other. But um, well done, boys. Nice little fist bump then from Manan. I believe way we saw all three of these boys in every single track event. And well I, done to our year I might boys. be wrong saying this, but one, two, three, all the time. It, they sometimes switched position, but always fighting for that top three spot in their races. Yeah, very tight. Well done, boys. Good afternoon. On to the year six girls. In third place, Tia Yu. Oh, Tia in third place for the year six girls. The Normans will be pleased with that. Their first step onto the podium this afternoon. In second place, by one point separating first and second. Second place is Catriel Indeji. Second place, Catriel. You might have heard Mr. Richards say that there's one point separating first place and second place. A Catriel in second place, but one point behind. And in first place, first place. Iola Cairns. First place, Iola Cairns for the Saxons. So, the Saxons will be delighted. First place on the podium. Well done, girls. Well done, Iola. Well done, Catriel. One. Well done, Tia. Fantastic. Well done to our year six girls. On to the boys. In third place in year six. Year six boys. Tyler. You. Tyler. Tyler and Tia, both stepping up into third place for the Normans. In second place. Louis Mosley Davis. Second place, Louis Mosley Davis of the Saxons. We spoke to Louis earlier. And in first place, I don't think a surprise to anybody, Farron Elmelas. And Farron Elmelas, who's had a tremendous afternoon. He's up into first place on the podium. Well done, Farron. Well done, Tyler. Well done, Louis. Brilliant boys. Well done.
Now on to our middle school, Victor and Victrix Ladora. This prize goes to the boy and girl in the whole of the middle school who earn the most points as an individual. And it's particularly special because your name gets engraved on our trophies forever. So the intermediate Victor Ladorum for 2022 is Farron Elmanas. So Farron Elmanas picks up the, uh, the Victor Award for this sports day. Well done, Farron. Gets to take home a lovely shiny cup. And the intermediate Victrix was a tie between Lexi Ford and Iola Cairn. Oh, and it's a tie. A year five and a year six getting the Victrix. Lexi and Iola. Good athleting. I'm going to trust you that that's a word. <clears throat> well done to our intermediate Victor and Victor. Well done. Winners. Fantastic work by these young athletes. And now it looks like Mr. And Evans finally, is holding a big cup here. Here we go. School house competition results. As I said, it's such an incredible event in that all of you have worked hard and contributed today to your house. We will present the middle school winner today and then combine it with our lower school results and our upper school results on Saturday uh, for an overall winner for the House Cup. It's a middle school results today. So in fourth place with 350 points, the Normans. Well done, Normans. Well done, Normans. In third place, with 391 points, the Britons. Third place, the Britons. Well done, the Britons. That's between the Vikings and the Saxons for first place. Now, I'm going to ask the flag bearer who carried the flags out for this house to come up and receive the trophy between the Vikings and the Saxons. In first place, by about 35 points, are the Saxons. The Saxons win Maybe middle school sports day. Mr. Myers Allen, you are holding yourself together, but I know inside you are excited, exuberant, and emotional. How are you feeling? I'm just so happy. I mean, they've been working so hard this year. And Is it a reflection of your athletic ability and your leadership? It just sums up how much they want to do well and it's brilliant and in all seriousness well done to all the houses uh today uh brilliant effort and it's just a brilliant day is mr brown well done to all your children a big round of applause again finally and thank you all the parents for coming out today i know it rained a bit but we, we battled on and thank you very much for being here and a big thank you to Mr. Richards, who organised it all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Richards. Well done, Mr. Richards. Brilliant day. Yeah, thank you. Um, boys and girls, as we're about to leave, can I please remind you to get all of these mess of clothing? Please don't leave anything behind. Um, and if you are going with parents, you must come and let us know if you're signing out, please. Thank you. Thank you, parents. So that, I think, concludes Middle School Sports Day. The pupils are going to go. We're actually now going to switch channels and are going to commentate. We've got a contract through for Test Match Special. We're going to commentate on England, New Zealand. Uh, we're not actually, you'll be pleased to know. Uh, Mr. Myers Allen, thank you very much for your company this afternoon. Thank you very much, Mr. Carter. It's an honour and a privilege to be sitting next to a broadcasting hero such as yourself. You can, uh, you can all unmute your TVs, computers now and listen to whatever you were listening to. Thank you for joining us this afternoon and we will see you all very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Could I ask parents, if you please let Miss Robinson know if you're taking your children straight home, please. Miss Robinson, over here, thank you.